There we are. Waiting for it. I I I, I need to either either I move the, your camera or you move your camera. Or I can I can move it. Let's try it. Oh, other well, way. No, no, no. Little little more if you can. Oh, that? If, if that if that's that as far as it goes, back, I'll, I'm gonna be over here. Well, yeah. Now, well, now I'll I'll, I'll move it from here. It's just it was set up for Audi last time. 
Oh, okay. Last time I was streaming on this setup. Got it. Oh, well, how's everybody doing tonight, every, uh, everyone? <laughs> every peoples? Doing pretty oh, all right. <laughs> pretty all right. I just, uh, you know, fixed fixed my sink today. Oh yeah, you were. I you, I didn't even you were you were saying like you had a you've had a bunch of like uh, like major 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 problems. appliance failures lately, which is not great. Yeah, yeah. It's it has not been fun. Uh, you know, like the the first it's, it's it started small when our garage door decided to, or the garage door decided to, to destroy itself oh wow destroy uh, it was itself? like it was already kind of busted when yeah. we moved in yeah but like uh like a screw came out and it just like started hitting against the top of the frame and just like boof, boof, and it like wrecked itself like it wow. was gonna get needed to get replaced anyways you know i i like, i remember when uh i lived in delaware uh at one point we came home and the garage door wouldn't open up and like the rails were like spring loaded or something mm -hmm. like, like my, my garage door opener is, is not like that. Um, but, and maybe that's probably an older design where it would, it like, it like stretched this like long spring out and that <laughs> spring was like on the floor and like oh, we imagine that it like went pew like fired like like I mean I I don't know like if, <laughs> if, if that was how it happened like if that happened when you were in there you'd be like dead. Yeah, it would have been lodged into your skull probably. Yeah. Um so there was that and then um the uh the shower like in my wife and I's bedroom, like our like the master bedroom bathroom, like the shower is like been kind of coming apart and <laughs> we needed to get that replaced. We're still waiting to get the Like we, you know, we had to pay our, you know, take out the, like a, you know, like a loan to do it, you know, you get to like, whatever. And, uh, like that still hasn't happened probably like, I don't know, like next month, I think. And then, um, recently, like what else was there? Uh, recently, um, like our air, air conditioner stopped working, and <laughs> we called somebody. They came in and said, you know, like it's it's been working so hard, and uh, like it blew out the fuses, and it's because it's 15 years old, and it's like it has to use like a lot a lot of power to like be active, especially in these days where it's been like 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, it turned out that like our furnace was also installed at the same time. So instead of just like doing one and then a couple months later having like inevitably the other one breaks a couple months later, we just had to do both of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was <laughs> expensive. And then recently the uh, our sink, like it's like attached underneath. But whatever people who lived here before, they, I don't know how, the, like, but they did. It, like, came loose. And then uh, there was something also, like, plugged in the uh, in the sink, you know, like, water line or, like, the drainage at some, some place. I have no idea where. And, you know, we took the whole thing apart underneath uh, and... Like snaked the snaked all the way down as far as we could and didn't fix it. We spent like all day on Friday and like most of the day on Saturday, like trying to get it working. Eventually, last night, uh, we just like dumped a ton of liquid plumber in it and let it sit for a while, and then I like took a, a <laughs> took a plunger to it, <laughs> and it wasn't working. And then eventually. Why is your video so dark? So well, I'm I'm playing with it because someone someone commented. Oh, so that you're didn't, stretched. So well, someone said it didn't look quite right, and I. I mean, I think it was, or is, or was, or something. 
I, I think it's like not at 60 hertz or something. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to figure out if I can lock it to that somehow. Yeah, I think it was I think it was just it was fine. Uh, so eventually it went down. Uh, but now we still have the uh, the sink was loose. Uh, so we were kind of like looking to get a new sink. But then you were like, you know, we, we can't really do this. Let's see if we can try and fix the other one. So a friend of ours is like a repairman. Like he works for like a, um, I don't know. He like does like a bunch of repairs, like for like, he's like a contractor. Uh, he's very good. And he came over and we like uh, put some like two by fours, cut two by fours to size like underneath and then put like one un along the bottom of it so that it holds it in place. And then we put some like uh some gel like around around the edges and it's like to seal it and it should be good at least probably for a year or two or maybe longer uh but while i was at it i installed a uh a new faucet in the kitchen so i don't know like it's <laughs> <laughs> it's added up huh yeah well it adds up but also you know like i get to learn i learned how to you know do a bunch of stuff, which is good. I I, I gotta say, I, I saw saw interlace in the chat say say uh, say 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 the picture was fine. Don't sweat it. And, you know, I I I'm not sure I can trust someone someone's opinion on picture quality named interlace. <laughs> 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 to be fair though, interlacing looks great on PS2 on a CRT. <laughs> uh, I, I I, I also saw. Yep, I got, I got it right here. Uh, Three dollars from Yo Yo Yoshio. Thank you. Saying long time no see. Hope things are better are going better for you than me. My PC died unexpectedly, so building a new one Oof. rip my wallet. Anyways, Oof. what do you think of the best use of the SNES is sound? Uh, obviously, uh, plonk. Are you thinking of um, plock? Plock, yeah. I can't. Uh, think but of any it. others? I really like Doom uh, soundtrack. OST on the SNES. Mm. Um, I mean, what about uh, like the Tur like Turk and one and two have Dolby Pro Logic? No. What 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 about what about Dancing Mad from Final Fantasy VI? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic. Is that that's just like his main theme song, right? No, I mean that's the final battle theme that's like oh, twenty oh, okay. minutes long. I see. Yes. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah. Um. Uh, other good examples. Um. I mean, Donkey Kong Country, obviously. I yeah, mean, and you know, Super Metroid, I always thought was like yeah. a very good use. I mean, yeah. Donkey Kong Country has just like unusually clean samples like it just <laughs> sounds really good um uh i don't know I, i'd have to look at my list here i also saw a while back that uh mellow gaming said tries garage door issue is still the most exciting thing that happened in delaware what about what what, what about uh like every game Dave episode, though, that's <laughs> that's 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 pretty exciting stuff that happens in, in Delaware. Yeah. Um. Also saw that uh, that Zodiac is in the chat. Who I who we we both recently recorded some podcasts with. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh. I, I recently recorded a a. This might sound very strange. I don't I don't think it's publicly released yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say anything about where it went, but, uh, right. uh, he and some other people were working on a, a King of games, 1992 series. <laughs> they asked me to be on the one that was, they, they, they have like this tournament, uh, seed system, uh, and you know, which makes some very strange matchups like Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog two versus dragon quest five, <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, is an interesting, uh, matchup. Uh, uh, but, uh, I, I, I won't say anything about, about, uh, where it went, but it was, a, it was a fun conversation. <laughs> um, I, and I did one that was Night Trap versus, um, Mega Man 5. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, some, someone has to st stand up for Night Trap there, you know? <laughs> yep. Um, I see that there's a uh, $2 Canadian from the importer. We haven't seen the, the importer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good to see you, see you back. Saying, hi, guys. Are you enjoying the uh, PSX and 32X core? Um, I have. You know, I, I don't think I've even installed the 32X core yet, unfortunately. Well, I mean, if you've run update all, it automatically has put it in there. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. But, uh, you know, I was like, I know that a major update for the PlayStation core came out yesterday. Oh, yeah, just like like the list of fixes and was just like really really long. Um, but I I don't know the other a few nights ago I was uh, I was I just, just like was playing some Breath of Fire three on it. Oh, and you know it was it was, it was fun. It, it made me want to like play that soon. Yeah. Um. You know, I, w I was telling you earlier that, you know, like I, I, I really like got got a little bit back to games to uh, this past week because I like I just like had not, <laughs> I just like hadn't been feeling like any kind of like desire to do like anything uh, in the last you know several weeks. And, uh, like, I was like, you know, I just really want to, like, play. I should, like, get back to and play some games just to see if that, like, makes me feel, like, a little bit better. And uh, I didn't really want to, like, start anything new. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to, like, take out all the games that I've started and I just made it to a certain point. And, uh, like, I'm going to just see which ones I can finish. Mm -hmm. And, like, I had several games like in various states of completion and uh i managed to finish uh, ace combat 7 um uh kirby and the forgotten land and uh uh kina uh bridge of spirits bridge to spirits and or bridge of spirits or whatever is it it's bridge to spirits or i think it's bridge, bridge of, of spirits. spirits yeah uh and i managed to finish all those nice <laughs> did it make week. you feel better? <laughs> it did. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to finally get back to um, the Yakuza Like a Dragon. And you finished so that too, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm on chapter nine in that. Oh, oh, you didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. Not yet. I mean, I am still have a ways to go, I think. Um. So Kina, like, did... It's it, like I was so torn on it because I really there's so much to like about it, but it just like didn't really click with me like the entire time through. I don't know why. Like, it's a gorgeous game. I love the uh, the colored lighting in it. Mm -hmm. It just makes really, really good use of that. Uh, but there's just like something about it that just didn't. Well, I mean, I think really it was made by a studio it, of like people with most, oops, uh, with mostly like, like animation experience, maybe more so than game design is kind of yeah, the impression I, I was can, under. I mean, it looks like a, it, it looks like a Pixar movie yeah. or a, like not even a Pixar movie, but more like a, like a, like a Disney animation. Like it, you know, it made me think of like, uh, what is that? Like one a that Disney animated out? TV show, you mean? Not not a TV show, but like uh Oh. What was that one that just came out? The um uh, with the something in the dragons. I I have lost total track of like the new like animated Disney stuff. I or I and what even is the distinction between Disney and Pixar anymore? I, I'm 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 very out of uh sync with that these days. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah, uh, Ray, Raya and the dragon, and the something in the dragon, yeah, like it, it, you know, it looks, it looked like that, like it made me think of that kind of. Thing. Oh, how did I do that? I've been trying to figure oh, that. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. It's like not, not Pixar, but like just. Uh, how did I do that? Like, like Disney's that's... animation stuff. D does anyone know how you throw the hammer in this? Because I saw them doing it in the 
in the Maybe demo. Maybe you, you can charge. I, I, I'm trying holding the Y button. Whoa, oops. Oh, okay. I think that, okay. X button uses your power attacks, okay. which you have a limited, you have a, a stock of those. I can't, I, I don't know how that just happened though. Um, there was $5 from Eric Fox. Thank you. Saying just got my first Saturn ever along with a Fenrir. Uh, what are your favorite Saturn games? Um, you know, you definitely, if you, if you have a Fenrir, you should, um, let me look what I got here. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that's like really expensive that you can, you have access to. Like a oh, personal favorite action. of mine is Hyper Duel. <laughs> you should definitely check that one out. Um, Bulk Slash. Yeah, bulk slash. Um, you know, like the uh, the Grandia translation just came out. It's like it's completely done now. Like the 1.0 version of it. Uh, Knights, of course. Any of the any of the Panzer Dragoons are worth playing. Oh yeah. Uh, any of the Sega Ages, like any of the, like any of the working design stuff, like Magic Knight Ray Earth. Uh, definitely worth playing, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to look at stuff that hasn't gotten like other versions. You know, I was speaking of Saturn. W one thing I was initially thinking about streaming today. Look, look what, look what I just got. Yeah, I got the Saturn light gun. Oh, you, and you you got a black one too. Yeah, and uh, I recently got um um. Uh, Virtual Cop one and two. Ja I, I don't know oh, if nice. there's American versions. I got Japanese versions, and they're like two. It was like two or three dollars. Like I was yeah. just looking for some cheap stuff to add to an import order, and like this seller I've been buying from, like I think they just say like, you know, has yeah. scratches on like all disc things, just as a blanket statement, yeah. like has scratches. But then like I get things that's like, there's no scratches <laughs> on this. Uh, and so I, I, I just like tossed virtual cop one and two into this order. Cause it, like, they were like two or three bucks and they are like really scratched up, which is un <laughs> super unusual for Japanese. Games. Which is why you're like, Oh, I gotta get, get that. Uh, but, that uh, re, uh, that was that was one reason it popped in my head. I mean, I would like to buy like, I mean, I, I think there were several listed that were about that price, so I don't think they were that cheap yeah. just because <laughs> I, they were scratched. Like, I think that is like the value of the game, basically. But like, I would like to get non scratched ones one times, but that was yeah, that was why the Rhea popped in my I my head, and I was asking you about. I it I got a um, there was there was a major major donation. Uh, from from Matt Hungry. Thank you so much with a hundred. Oh wow! I see that. Wow! Wow! Thank and, you. <laughs> thank you. I've uh, been a fan for a while and love the content you guys put out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We just uh, need to. A a apologies that it's been. Yeah, I've been like <laughs> really like. I was thinking about like putting together like a. Uh, like writing something at least. I don't know. Like saying. You know, there's just been a lot going on and you know it like it's mainly like it's like it's like my fault like i should have had stuff done it's just that i i kind of got into it a little bit last last week but it's just been like a i don't know like it's just like kind of been like a, like a like a, like the world has been depressing <laughs> for lack of a better word way to way to put it and it's just like been making it very difficult to not spiral into like just not feeling like doing anything hopelessness i guess so you know like that's like when i didn't feel like uh they want to play play any games. I just felt like it was I like I just very difficult to do or like feel anything. <laughs> I guess, but I feel like I'm doing a little bit 
better. Um, but, but I mean, you, so much, you know, man, I, really. I've, I've had a hard time too, just because I've been, I've just like You've had been, so like, much I mean, more been... freelance work that I'm like used to having. And yes. it's, it's been like, I want to get the analog frontiers monkey off my back so bad, but like, mm -hmm. like there's just been so much freelance work. And I, I think I'm going to be able to be a lot more flexible on it. A lot more, uh, I, you know, I can, I can sort of put some of it aside, uh, and, you know, finally get back to working much more regularly on episodes, most mainly analog frontiers. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's been a lot more than I'm used to lately. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're both, we're both struggling to get, get our, get our grooves back, you know, after yeah. that, that massive Mr. Episode, but yeah. And like, I, I, you know, like, I know that a lot of people feel like, you know, this, like, like, like making, like watching videos that we make, like is big for them to like get their mind off of other stuff. And it's just like, I like, it makes me feel really bad there too. Like I, like, I mean, there's just like, there's nothing else that I can say. It's just like, it's just been, it's just, it's just been, been hard. I wish I could figure out how to throw the hammer. Cause like I've done it a few times on accident mm -hmm. and I, I have no idea. Um, so backing up like before, uh, Matt Hungry's enormous donation. Thank you again. Uh, there was $5 from Andy 64. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Saying good evening guys. What were the highlights of the Nintendo direct for you? Uh, happy independence day. Uh, you know, I didn't want like the. I mean, it was like it was the one was it not like nine a.m. Right? Is that what that's what we're talking about? Right? Yeah, I mean, I missed it when it was like released too. Excuse me. Yeah, and uh, because like I mean, I I I let's be honest, I'm normally not awake at nine, <laughs> <laughs> or at least not quite ready to get well, out of bed. I've been, um, I've been I've been changing my my sleep schedule back to like sleep it, letting myself like not like, letting myself sleep in more. Cause I, I use my, uh, I, tr I track my sleeping hours mm -hmm. with my, like with my phone and stuff. And I looked at my <laughs> sleep schedule for the last six months and realized that, uh, with like the time I was going to bed and the time I was getting up, I was sleeping, getting like roughly like four and a half hours of sleep a night. Yeah. That doesn't sound great. For for like 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 six seven months, and I was like, you know, I should like that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I I, I pushed it to like to like six thirty now. Yeah, I I would feel awful. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean it is, but uh, the Nintendo Direct, you know. It's hard for me to even remember. Yeah, gosh. I, and I, I, I hope those, I hope those Persona games get physical releases. Because I, like, I've wanted to play Persona Five for a long time. And you think you'd be more but, likely to on the Switch? Oh, I mean, I played, you know, I played Persona or a portion of Persona Three Portable on, on the, uh, on the Vita. Actually. Yeah, and you played all of Persona Four. On yeah, I played all for Persona Four on the Vita, and, you know, it just. It's such a long game that I feel as though I want to be able to like do other things like while playing it sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I can um, like I, I'm just hoping that they, they will. I bet you that they do. I bet they'll get at least on the uh, on the switch because they know that they'll be able to sell that stuff. Yes. Um, if, if, if nothing else, there will probably be English Asia releases. Um, yes, exactly. Um, I did download the, uh, the, the live alive demo. Oh yeah, I yeah, not... yeah, yeah. I, 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 I just poked around at it. I didn't really want to play much cause yeah, I mean, well, I'm, it, I'm getting it. Yeah. And well, the save files carry over. Right. But like, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't, 
I mean, I, 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 I didn't want to get too far into it. I just, right. I just kind of wanted to take a peek at it. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, what else was there that was? Um... I, uh, I, I mean, I feel like it. It seems to. I mean, it's thirty frames per second, of course, but I, I feel like it's probably running smoother than Octopath Traveler, but uh, it sort of, it definitely looked a little less flashy than Octopath Traveler, but that's, that's probably to get it, uh, to get, you know, running better. Right. Um, but you know, like there's, I can't remember what else there was. I'd have to look at the list. Like, uh, I have no idea how the portal games run. Do they run like I wonder if they're 60 FPS or if they're which portable games? Uh, portal. How, oh, so, the portal games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, they, you know, I was looking that day. up, and there's like no physical copy of them. I think it's been out, hasn't it? it, it no, it came out like the day of the direct. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I dang it, I did it again. How how am I throwing the hammer? I I, I apologize that I'm like not paying attention to the chat. Anyone is telling me. <laughs> I don't know if there's um, like a, a game fact for this or a manual scan. I'll have to look at some of the other stuff on there. Um, yeah, I, 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 I looked up a few things. Like, I was like, oh, like that sounds interesting. Uh, but, like, you know, while I saw what was on, but I never watched the full presentation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Um,. There was uh, $5 from uh, Sonic TT1. Thank you. Thank you. I was asking, have you guys heard of uh, N64 power bricks dying? Uh, Hubby's N64 randomly resets when we use his power brick. Doesn't happen with mine. Um, is it an official one that's worth resetting, or is it like a third party one? Because I know this one, like somebody makes them, like Hyperkin or somebody. I don't know. I've never one. heard of third party. Uh... Power of bricks for N64, but I mean, I guess it. Oh yeah, there, there definitely is. Shouldn't surprise me. Like I, yeah. I've never had a problem with with real ones. Right. I mean, same here. Um, um, no, that, that's definitely not anything I, I've I've heard of. Is it like you, if you hold on the shoulder and press attack, does it do it there? No, the shoulder buttons don't seem to do anything. I, I think the only buttons that do anything are uh, Y, B, and X. Hmm. I've tried to um, do but I mean, different I've, directions while I'm in the air. But I've only used uh, official ones, and I haven't had any any problems with them. With any of them. Mm -mm. No. But I, I, mean, I would be okay. I've, both official. So, I mean, maybe it's just like... Hmm. Maybe they need I mean, to be recapped. Like or something like that that's like in there is like, you know, ruptured or something. I mean, I bet you there's stuff on it. Let's yeah, see it's got to be um, capacitors. Uh, because, you know, I mean, I know that the internal power bricks of like Saturn and PlayStation can also be due for... Uh, for, for some refreshing. So uh, it, it wouldn't surprise I mean, me if, you know, the external power supply of N64 similarly might need recapping. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, looking that's... at uh, Console 5, it looks like... Um, I mean, Console 5 looks like they sell a bunch of capacitor kits for the N64 power supply. So okay. that could be it. There's a whole bunch of them on there. So, I mean, that's that's the best I can think of. This level kind of makes me think of the first level of actors. Uh, there's also two two more dollars uh, from from Sonic TT one. Thank, Thank you. you. Saying uh, FPGA, I can bash script. Mister looks super cool. Um, I I mean, is 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 bash script? Like a term for something? Is that is that a programmer <laughs> term? We're we're a little yeah. too dumb for that for for, for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've stunlocked this guy. 
Uh, to throw hammer, Jamie J is saying to throw the hammer uh, up, up forward, forward. So it's kind of like a quarter circle from the from up. Huh. It's like two Hadouken. Oh, you're right. No, it's just one Hadouken, but it's an upside down Hadouken. Yeah. Um. Oh. Zach, I, I'm sorry. I was just, I was just almost to your first one, but thank you. Uh, there was a um, five dollars and four ninety nine from Zach Turpin saying, "My newborn son is in the hospital with RSV. I appreciate the respite the stream brings." Uh, RSV, I'm assuming that uh, is it a resp respiratory uh, syncytial virus? That that sounds. I, I just I sounds did about right. I I, I I I feel like I've heard yeah, the I'm, term, I'm but so... I'm 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 not. But that that does not sound like a fun thing to be dealing yeah, with I, right I now. Cannot even imagine. So we'll uh, like we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to uh, entertain for the next several hours. <laughs> be an escape. Yeah. That's all we know how to do anyway. Best of luck. I mean, I hope everything is everything is okay. But I, I cannot even imagine like how how it must feel right now. Um, there was uh, three dollars from Yo Yo Yoshi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Saying, uh, what do you think of these so-called three three D pixel art like a Mega Man Legends? Uh, I'm making a game with that kind of 3D low poly pixel art style, and I personally really love it. But what do you think? Um, I, I mean, mean, like, I, I always felt like it was like more cell shaded, but there's that one game that kind of looks like it that's coming out here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, that uh, Frogun or whatever it's called. Fro yeah, like Frogun or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love that style like a lot. I, I mean, unless you're talking about some other aspect of Mega Man Legends that isn't coming to mind. Yeah, I, d I don't really consider that pixel art, but it's got like this uh, where it like really like it just kind of like swaps out the textures like on the faces for like lots of animation and expression, uh, which, you know, was a I, I thought a really clever technique for that time. Uh, and yeah, it's like it's it's not cell shaded, but it, it like tries to go for that style. And like, I gosh, I feel like that look holds up so well. I it really does. Like, oh, it's just such a beautiful game. There was. Um, OK, so so bash script is like is is similar to like a, just like a batch file but in bash a bash script is a script that runs in bash i i i i bash is a unix shell yeah i feel like i've heard that kind of thing before but i'm 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 too dumb to fully appreciate <laughs> the joke <laughs> or reference uh there was also $5 from edward nielsen thank, thank you thank you uh, hey guys any plans for um, future RGB series episodes, perhaps Dream Dreamcast or Neo Geo. Love ya. Little heart. Thank you. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's... It's silly how many years it's been since we've done one. It, it, yes. Super it's, it's silly. really, really silly. Uh, but but, but uh, there, yes, there, yes, there's, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I know the RGB series is done, but it's like, it's, no, it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> I know. It's just a matter of like, you know, you know, like two years ago, like I was, I was like, oh man, I'm just like feeling really inspired to like doing like videos all the time. And then like, I, like once, once I moved, it's just like, I've been just like screwing around with too much other stuff really is what's happened. You know, I was, you know, like as I've been working on this setup video, uh, I get an idea and I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, I should do that right now. <laughs> and I should like make it should honestly make that like kind of part of the video. It's like, oh, you know, like yeah. I got this idea. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I mean, I, my my setup is actually like pretty close to settled down now. Like there's a few yeah. little things that I'm still like kind of changing. 
Uh, but oh no, she's got a chainsaw. Is this, is this the inspiration for Lollipop Chainsaw? <laughs> I heard that's getting a remaster. Oh really? I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Oh, I just realized that there must be like, like, is it depend on like whether you do it in the air or not? I, I thought I wasn't sure what made different. Well, you know, Mr. Doss, that's I. I definitely want to do like a bit of both. It's just that I haven't felt like motivated to do anything. You know, like all I like all I've like wanted to do lately is just kind of like, you know, like hang out with family, you know, like, <laughs> which is is good. You know, like I was, you know, was kids pretty are intense done with school and, uh, you know, just like, you know, like watching some shows and stuff with my wife, like in the evenings. So not only just haven't like felt like doing anything, it's just like I just want to like. I, I said I'm just gonna like step back for a moment. Well, I mean, like me, you've had you've had your other work to do in the day. Oh and yeah, yeah, I've yeah. had my freelance to do in the day, and then it's like, oh, it just. But I, I think I think we're both kind of getting to a point where we could, where we can find a little more time to to focus on our videos again. Yeah. Um. So someone's asking like how my time management has been going and uh i mean not so much like the time management aspect but like i've been really focusing on like to-do lists and every day just kind of saying like here's my list for the day and working through it and it's 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 been good i've been doing that for like a month now or so and uh you know like that's just is good you know like i've had the you know, like, I guess, like, also, like, part of a lot of this is that I've been doing other stuff because I've, like, let a bunch of stuff just, like, fall to the wayside, I guess. So just getting, <laughs> getting my life reordered. It happens. Like, but I mean, like, I, I just feel really bad for it. Whoa, like, it's whoa. Just, oh, such a weird oh. thing. And, like, you know, like, I'm glad that everybody is, like, you know. Family? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, like these next few weeks uh, should should be really fun. Uh, you know, we're going to be definitely one of our streams is going to be uh, pretty fun. We're getting getting a return to uh, something we haven't done in a very long time, and that's uh, because. Our good friend uh, John Lineman is going to be in town. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we might have a potentially a couple of opportunities to stream with them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. But you know, like, definitely, it's going to be at the at the very least, you will see, a, you know, a comparison stream. Yeah. Uh, that we have not done in a, since 2019. So, yeah. uh, I think he's going to be in town. Like, he gets here on. Tuesday, I think. And, uh, you know, like, that's the that's potential for a stream of, who knows, like, maybe also, like, there might be other other stream-related things happening, too. Um, so, I mean, we're gonna, like, him and I have been, like, are planning on, and have been, like, kind of working on a, uh, a, a DF retro video, like a collaboration. Um, like that should be fun. Uh, but I mean, like we're planning on heading down there for a couple days too. This guy's or for tough. Like, like three days or something like that. I'm gonna drive down. So there might be like a you know four person stream. There might be who knows. Who knows? You never know what we might get into. <laughs> I know that, that John and I have plans to uh, meet up with some other people while he's here, too. And, and who knows? Maybe those people will show up on a stream, too, <laughs> which <laughs> would be like pretty, pretty funny and awesome. I think I'm not I won't, won't spoil 
who it, who it could possibly be. But you never know. Um. But let's see, what else? Um. Uh, Kaylee Gamer said, Corey, pro Corey procrast I think procrastination can uh, just become a side effect from trying to cram too much in and getting overwhelmed. Family time, not gaming, can be cool. Absolutely. You know, it's... Uh, I just think, like, that's what I needed to do, you know? And there's been, like, some shows that my wife and I have been watching, and... It's, it's actually been the kind of an interesting time for just like shows in general because it seems like so many different things have come out at the same time. Oh, dang it. I was doing so good. I mean, you and I were watching uh, Obi-Wan oh. as it was on. Oh. And uh, I mean, it was uh, it was OK, <laughs> I guess, like, yeah. I, th I think you might have liked it like a teen a little bit more than me, but you also like the prequels a lot, like a bit more than me too. Well, I mean, I, I'm afraid to go back to the prequels, but I mean, I loved yeah. them. Like, I think I was, I was the pretty much a, a pretty good age for them. Or really, it was the fact that I was like not like a long time Star Wars fan when they started coming yeah. out. Like, I was just getting into Star Wars. Yeah, it, I mean, it was, it was a good time to be in. Life. So. I guess. Like, yeah, but like I, I, I liked it, but it was definitely pretty messy in terms of like, like there's just a lot of things that are just really difficult to reconcile with episode four, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly like I was, I kind of just wish that they didn't do any of the stuff they did. They just like had him getting into stuff that was unrelated. Yeah. I mean, I, think, I, I kind of feel like some of the Darth Vader stuff was kind of the, the best parts, but... Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I'll, but I, I, I don't know if I said it to you, but I said it to several people. I think that this was just, like, kind of the... the last... Uh, last thing that came out that just made me... the last thing that came out that made me think, like... You know what? I just like I just don't think that I care enough for anything like outside of the original three movies. Well, I mean, you've been saying that forever, and yet you keep watching. But, but this stuff. is kind of like the absolute confirmation. Like, if there's anything, that yeah, I was but gonna, you're going to keep watching like, stuff. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I mean, you like, are. Like, this see, on... this was the first Star Wars show thing that I personally watched at all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's just... Maybe I'll... I mean, I, I did not love it by any means, but I I, I didn't hate it. Yeah. You know, I, I thought there were some interesting things about it, but it was definitely heavily flawed, for sure, I think. Yeah. You know, and I, like, I've been... You know, I mean, not feeling, like, that strongly towards, like like the Marvel stuff, but like I've been feeling like a kind of like burned out on that a little bit too. And just like in the show, in terms of the shows, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I, I'm definitely excited to see Thor this, uh, this coming week. I think that looks real good. Um, and Ragnarok was like one of like one of my favorites. It's not my favorite. So I'm looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like the shows are just like I, I feel as though in a lot of cases I'm just watching them out of obligation. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, and truthfully, like that's kind of what's happening, I guess, with Star Wars. Like I feel like I'm just kind of watching it out of obligation. Like I've invested all this time. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, the, like, the like, Marvel if, stuff is Wanda hard to like the way they can. I mean, especially with like WandaVision turned out to actually be really important. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, like, I think we I, we probably can just, like, talk about Doctor Strange now since it's, like... Well, I mean, I I, I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get want to get too spoilery about it, but, well, yeah. I'm... 
I mean, like, we, I think that you kind of felt similar to me in that it was not what you thought that it was going to be. Right. Or, yeah, I, it, it was It was fine. Problem. It was fine. I, I, I had much higher expectations for it. Yes. And I, you know, I... I you know, I think that that's like. You know what, what's what's funny is is the night that I watched it, like Drum and I thought like, oh, let's make it a a Sam Raimi double feature, and we watched yeah. The Quick and the Dead, which I'd never seen before, and it blew me away. Like it was super good. Uh and <laughs> I, I liked it way more than Doctor Strange. Yeah. Well, my my problem with Doctor Strange is is that. I wish that they just like did more with like multiverse stuff. Like they really only go to like one, like two different multiverses. Like spend any significant spend any time. Significant in time, yeah. And you know, like when they're like going through a whole bunch of stuff at the very beginning, like or when they first like get thrown in, I was like, I can't believe they didn't do anything with like that stuff. You know, like the whole like like the one where they're like paint, like like spend five minutes there at least. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like it could have just been something. You know, just like I don't know. It just it it didn't feel like they utilized the idea nearly as much as they as they could have. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like truthfully, there's more multiverse stuff in in Spider Man. I mean, I mean, they don't go to other multiverses, but at least you know, several of them go into there, into their own. Um, I see. Uh, that Ashura says uh, with five dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, uh, you didn't dig Mando. Uh, it's the best non uh, original trilogy thing to me. Definitely burn on Marvel stuff. Stranger Things four felt like fresh air. And I totally feel that same way. And, you know, <laughs> uh, I've been watching. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody else in the chat is watching uh, The Boys on Amazon. And that, like, I felt has been, like, really, really good. And Stranger Things, I haven't watched the final one yet. I've watched, like, the eight we haven't watched nine yet because it's because it's two and a half hours long like it's cool it's like like basically like a movie yeah i i finished it on friday i enjoyed it well i i mean i'm gonna uh probably watch it obviously we'll watch it tomorrow so you know i i i learned so well i, was, I learned this one i was reading up about obi-wan um and I again, I've not seen Mandalorian, Boba Fett, any of the other Star Wars, Disney Plus stuff yet. Um, but I, I guess, like this is this is just fascinating to me because it's like it's like kind of so obvious that like oh the, yeah this makes sense, but like it's like this it's like it seems very like simple in a way, but it I guess starting with the Mandalorian, they've started using this new thing where. Oh, like screen thing. it's just a yeah. giant screen and they have like unreal engine 4 on it or 5 maybe i don't know they have unreal engine <laughs> on it they're using it for a lot of marvel stuff too yeah and they're like just syncing up these like cg backgrounds with like the camera motion and everything and like just shooting the backgrounds live like that's that's like i like like probably's like oh that's a brilliant idea and it's like no it's not it's just obvious <laughs> but it's it is kind of brilliant but I think yeah. I I want I, I think I read that like after Mandalorian they like made their own like real time software so like maybe only right. Mandalorian use Unreal, but that's that's kind of awesome actually. <laughs> it's like got to be a way less of a pain in the butt than green screen. I hate green screen. <laughs> is this gonna well, be the last level? This is the last dot on the map. I'm definitely excited to see the last Stranger Things, and I and I do agree. Uh, um, someone just said I can't find it now, saying that uh, season four has been better than like every other season combined. I I I I agree. I felt like I felt like 
2 and 3 wasted too much time. Like, they did not significantly, like, well, advance our understanding of, like, the general situation, I felt like. Yeah. Whereas, like, one, of course, you know, set up the mystery, and that was very cool. But then, like, two and three, yeah, they were fun enough, but, like, I just, I kind of felt like the story ultimately didn't go anywhere. Well, and, like, four I mean, has definitely, three, like, advanced things a lot. I think the thing with two and three is that they both, like, feel like... I, I couldn't tell you. I get them so confused. What happens so in like one season and doesn't? Except for like the, the mall. mall. Stuff. The mall stuff <laughs> is like the main thing that in three that was like the best part. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I couldn't tell you anything. I couldn't tell you anything about season two. Yeah. Basically at all. Yeah. Four. Uh, four is a lot. Better. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what happens with the in the, in the finale there. Um, but also like the, in the the boys finale, I think is this week. I, although like I'm kind of surprised that it's they, it feels like it should have been longer. Whoa! I, like, whoa! They, they've all been <laughs> they've all been eight episode each season, but I was just kind of surprised that this one felt like it's. Excuse me. It took a while to kind of get into a uh, like a groove with it, and uh, it's, it was good. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's really good. I'm excited to see what all happens. all, like, all I know really about hot. it is that every time I go to the Amazon front page, there's a picture of some guy like graffitied on a wall with lasers coming out of his eyes. Yeah. That's that's all I know about it. <laughs> right. Well, the thing is, is basically, I mean, it's 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 worth watching. Like, I I mean, it's... I'm under the impression it's, it's like a superhero like deconstruction it, type thing. Well, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like, like most of them are like just upset. Like, they're just like horrible people. And uh, the thing is, and I think <laughs> for like the, I guess it sets it apart is that it's just like it's so violent that I, you know, I can't believe like some of the stuff they show. But this season, especially in the third season, it's just clear to me that they have like they just like cranked everything up to eleven. So it's like it's like game. what it's like what if superhero movies like actually showed how horrible fighting is or something. Well, they didn't even fight. I mean, it's just like, you know, like what if, you know, like Superman's laser eyes accidentally like cut somebody up the middle, <laughs> like some like civilian bystander. Mm -hmm. And then it just like shows them like, you know, like it, it, it does like it, it the stuff that it like just shows like they don't even care anymore. <laughs> you know, it, and it's funny to think about that because, you know, it, it, it kind of puts it puts things in the perspective. Like if people like had these these powers, like it, they were like, a you know, people got hit with this stuff. This is what would happen to them <laughs> to like, you know, to like the bat, like the bags of meat, like just normal human beings. Uh, but like, I can't believe this, like some of the stuff that they're <laughs> they're like showing in this show. No. Um. Whoa. There was uh, uh, five dollars, five dollars Canadian from Seeing Wonder. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, six minutes ago. Sorry about that. Saying if you've been disappointed with in new Star Wars, you might want to look up the end of Skywalker trailer on YouTube. Uh, I fixed Star Wars with my fan edits. All right, I'll look it up after the after the stream. Um, <laughs> Alex Alex Gavin says I, I think I'd hate the boys from everything that I've heard. I mean, it's definitely like tries to make you feel kind of uncomfortable and like feel like like bad living in that world.
um, I see it, Vanessa area is saying, uh, you guys have time for shows and movies? It's got way too many games in the backlog to be able to watch all that stuff. And well, I mean, see, that's I, just what I was saying. Like, I, 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 I definitely put more time into, into, into my game backlog than into shows. Yeah. And same, same here. I mean, obviously, but I was just saying earlier about how I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was, games. I was telling Drum, like you say all the time, like, oh, I really don't watch that many shows. And like what you talk about so many shows. <laughs> but I mean, it's all like the same things. Like, like I said, it's like all, like a lot of the stuff is just like, I feel obligated to keep up. Yeah, with. but you do. Yeah. But I mean, like really. And like, you know, the thing that makes it easy to stay up, to stay, uh, keep up with is like weekly releases. See, I, 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 I don't, I don't like that stuff. Like you, you, yeah. you, you, you like buying off a little bit at a time i like yeah, having a big like meal all at once I, I like the like, binge yeah see like see like the idea of like binging is like you know i'd rather just you know spend 45 minutes like watching a show on wednesday morning than being like oh god i gotta like i have so you, 10 you... episodes of this show that i gotta watch before like it you... gets gets like gets ruined for me in some way or another you you get uh you get up early enough to make that work, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I do it, like, right after, you know, like, after the kids go to school or something. Yeah, I mean, like, I just don't, you know, I see uh, BBA 935 is saying, I can't binge, I get, get fatigued and then don't enjoy it. Oh, you know, see, like, I, I, see, I, like, when, what, like, when you only, but see, I only binge every so often. So when I do binge, it just feels like I really... I, I, I earned this moment, you know? Like I I, I earned this 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 decadent day. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I, like, you know, I I don't the only time I would be able to like binge watch stuff is like in the after the kids go to bed and Oh well, that that guy's you know, got if, a if, it's, if it's something that, pod. that uh you know, like that both my wife and I want to watch, then that's okay. Oh. I mean, like what we've been doing with Stranger Things, we like watch, we like watched one episode a night, you know, like, and it, that's been, been really nice. You know, like that first part of the season took like, you know, uh, that, that phase on that time watch. machine makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, I, I like, the, its nose. It's I don't like, like its nose. <laughs> okay, this has got to be the last one. Uh, anyways, like, it's just, I don't know, it's just easy for me to feel like, oh, I can... I want to look forward to Wednesday and I want to, like, watch this show, watch this one episode, and then I, like, I like to, like, think about and, like, speculate about, like, what's going to happen next. Yeah, but then that just leads to disappointment because what happens is never going to be as cool as what does happen, or what you what you yeah, imagine yeah. will happen will never be as cool as. Or what it does could happen. be like better than. I I feel like that's rare. <laughs> if I, I have know, too I much time like... to to think of an idea, then I get like really like I, I get really invest like like I don't do it a lot, but like I've definitely had it happen with like RPGs where I'm like, oh, I think I see where this is going, and then like what happened was nowhere near to school. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, it's like, oh, if they don't give you too much time to think about it, then <laughs> then you won't be disappointed. I guess I don't I don't know like I, I don't know. I, like, I, I don't know. I just, I feel as though I've, you know, it's like, even when stuff that is like, you know, comes out an entire season at one time, it's not like I got to watch it all at that one no. time, but there's always something like, I'm afraid that I'll like have a major plot point, like ruined for me, you know, like ahead of time. I mean, like I. It's not like I spend very much time on social media or anything like that, but I like I'd be just like afraid of just like, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, you'll see like a YouTube <laughs> thumbnail, or yeah, or well, you know, yeah, exactly. or or you'll like, just like randomly see an article headline that's like 
let's talk about that crazy ending of whatever. Yeah. And you know, and then like, like it's like, oh, well, so it was a crazy ending. And then and then like I've seen it, it where it's like it actually like, wasn't that crazy of an ending, but then they like set up your expectations that it is gonna be a crazy ending. Yeah, or or you spend the entire time thinking about like what is the craziest thing that can happen here. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Like it's it just it just doesn't do it. It just does does not it's not something that fits with, with my lifestyle, I guess. Oh, we got five dollars from Jonathan Hinson. Thank you. Thank you. And confession time. I'm playing Shovel Knight. For the first time ever. Of course, <laughs> I love it. Glad I got that off my chest. That's 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 a well, good one. I mean, that was I was at one time I that was like our, our best performing video. <laughs> yeah. Very very early on that is. <laughs> yeah. Um. I've I've not done any of the DLC on that. I did, uh, I did, uh, whoops. Oh no, I got greedy wanting those boxes. It wasn't worth it. Um, I, uh, I, I did Plague of Shadows and then I, I streamed, remember? I streamed the King Knight, like the beginning of the King Knight stuff, but I, I didn't, I didn't finish it. Like, oh, did you? No, I never Wait, did. I, I never finished it. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I mean, I intended to finish it, but I think what kind of kept me away from it was it, it, it kind of just felt like it was, it was too complicated, you know, mm -hmm. like there was like this whole like card game aspect and stuff. And it was just like, it was just like, man, I, I don't know. I, I kind of just kind of just want a platform. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's a it's a great game. <laughs> Last night, I you know like there's somebody like in the next uh, the next street over was like having doing fireworks last night. And, you know, like the kids are trying to go to bed. Mm -hmm. I, I I understand it was Saturday night. It's like, it's silly for me to like think like. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't. Really, we were trying to get them to go to bed so that we could watch Stranger Things last night. I mean, I, 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 I never enjoy it when I hear people doing fireworks. So. <laughs> I'm just a um, but I, Like I, you know, they were just like going forever last night and I was like I sent my wife a message saying like I hope they I hope they roll with these fireworks until like 11 or 12 tonight <laughs> <laughs> that was that was probably the wrong thing to say because they basically did <laughs> although you know I think I, I tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh you know, like fireworks and stuff, and I'm sure there'll be people like out in the neighborhood and stuff. I think I'm going to bring the projector out and and set up the mister on the side of the house. Oh, like I really wouldn't wanting to do that. Just, you know, just like as a are, are, is, is there a game that has like fireworks on loop? I, I love the look of like Super Nintendo fireworks, like the end of Super Mario World. I can just run the end of uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, the the <laughs> uh. I, I feel like I, I just I love how uh, I, I love how the fireworks look in uh, Super, Mar in Super Mario World for some reason. Oh, I don't, I don't know why they just look so cool to me. Well, I'm I'm going to either do that, do that or I can also bring like bring the Roku out or something like that. And I can probably put a movie on it, too. If I wanted to, so we'll see. Like it's the location of the house, like may, means that like people driving by or people walking by can easily just kind of kind of come and hang out. You know, uh, Hammer and Harry. 
He, I feel like he kind of looks like Matt Machesky. Does he? <laughs> okay. y- young, young Matt Machesky. Uh, you did that interview with him one time. Yeah. Oh, playing a movie might get me into trouble. Oh, that's okay. I'll just bring the. I'll just put the mister out there. Well, it's not. I mean, it's not like you're going to advertise. You know what I'm going to do? Is I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the mister out there, and I'm just going to. The only game people are going to be allowed to play is Toilet Kids. <laughs> Toretto Kizu. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only game that's allowed. Well, what do you got on saying? Well, I have everything, but only Toilet Kids works. What? What game? <laughs> um. Oh, there's another. This is just gonna be a boss fight. It was a really short walk, so I bet it's just a boss fight. Oh, it keep keeps going. It's a meatier game than I expected. <laughs> Is Toilet Kids a crappy game? <laughs> that's the uh, that's, that is the question. I mean, it it, it is a crappy game, time, like multiple times. Just because, like, I kind of want Toilet Kids to be like a thing and in, in, in an episode, or be like a, a thing on the on the channel. You know, but I, it's 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 like eighty dollars, and I don't know if yeah <laughs> that. I doubt it's worth that. Okay, none of those hit him. Yeah, I mean, for Halloween, maybe I'd put Night of the Living Dead on there. I, so I, I guess I can get in trouble if I put movies out there. Um, but if I do something as like in public domain, then it's probably okay. I'll just, like, run episodes of our show. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you probably don't want to be uh, advertising that too much. (laughs) I know. You know, we got this furnace installed, this furnace and AC installed. It's just real funny. Like, people people have reactions. People reaction. Like, whoa, what's what's going on down here? (laughs) Whoa. Wouldn't it be funny if the last boss was like impossible? <laughs> I don't know. That probably wouldn't be funny, actually. <laughs> of course, there's just like this one laser, just like, just like tickle away your health a little bit. Uh, we'll see. I, I, I think it'd be fun there. to put the Mister on out there and just like, you know, I'll bring a couple of controllers out there. And you, you, who knows? And I and I'll just I'll just play Breath of Fire three the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's what people would want to watch. <laughs> Can I play something? No, I'm playing Breath of Fire three. <laughs> Are you actually intending to like play through it? I kind of want to. Yeah. Uh, people that have played Breath of Fire three, does it does it hold, is, it, is it still pretty good? I could never finish one because the translation. Or no, I, I I finished one many times. I couldn't finish two because the translation was so bad. Oh, you've never finished the any like the better translated version no i have not although you know if i if i got breath of fire 2 the getting the cartridge of it is like one of the one like the last super nintendo oh i didn't know you didn't have it i have it i know i i know like it's kind of surprising i don't have it but i was going to uh i think i almost bought it when we were at retro world it's like between that and that adventures and batman and robin adventures of batman and robin 
on this the Super Nintendo version. I didn't I didn't end up buying either one of them, but uh, I mean I have all of the other games. I just don't have that one. Um, there was a uh, uh, ten dollars from Carl. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this last name. I'm sorry. Uh, Siat Siachitano. Siachitano. That, there you go. I I couldn't say it. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, uh, thanks to your recent Final Fantasy 13 talk, I decided to finally give it a try. The uh, maligned uh, linearness is actually a nice fit for my busy life, and there's something about the aesthetic that feels perfect on the PS3. Mm. Yeah, it's, I mean it's a good game. It's it a is, good game. I, it's it's beautiful. Like, yeah, the, the look of it just holds up so well. I think. Uh, yeah. I'm glad to have glad to have convinced you to give it a go. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I mean, like you said, you you played through the whole thing very recently. Like yeah, like you know. I, what happens when you get to like a disc change part? Uh, just like so nothing? I I thought um, at first I thought it was nothing, and I just like eventually noticed that like it, it says because I you know I played on PS3 originally. I don't know where the Xbox disc switches are. Um. And, uh, and, uh, eventually I just noticed like, oh, my save says disc two, my save says disc three now. Um, All oh, right. But I, I think there's like this very brief, like extra load screen it's, it's just up there for like just a split second. So like, if you weren't even thinking about, like, I think it's just like checking the disc. Mm -hmm. Then, like, immediately sees, like, oh, the next disc is in. Oh, I see. I mean, I, I will admit that that uh, hearing you play that made me, like, oh, well, I should revisit it sometime, too. Yeah, it was... It but was... then, you know, like, I'm just, like, kind of going back and saying, like, you know, I should... Once I kind of get wrapped up with the games that uh, that I've started before and never finished um i've been like having this desire to play the evil within oh okay i almost played it it um, I have, like both like, both of them i mean it should be a lot better than when i originally played it um yeah because they they made a lot of sort of fixes like you can i don't know if it's by default expanded field of view now um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to playing the second one. I still haven't. I mean, I've, I played like an hour of it since it was one of the relatively few games I had that like, uh, you know, had like series, uh, or one X features back when I did the, um, yeah. 4k TV episode. Um, but, uh, But yeah, the, the, I, I'm really looking forward to playing the second one. It seems really good. Uh, there was ten dollars from Craig Craig Wan. Thank you. Uh, asking if we do see this movie in the U.S. is Shin Ultraman something you guys are looking forward to? It's directed by uh, Hideki Anno, who uh, worked on uh, Shin Godzilla, and also oh, the okay. engine. Tell you. Uh, I want to watch it immediately, being a big fan. So I haven't seen, is there like a preview out for it? And what does it look like? Does they have, so I watched, sort of watching, I mean, just for like one evening, my son and I watched some of that, uh, the animated Ultraman that's like on Netflix. Like, mm -hmm. is it, is that, is that stuff canon for people that are like interested in it? Um, because it, seem like it like it would be i i don't know that much about ultraman but i i like the idea of like tokusatsu type stuff um so i i i would be interested maybe in watching it might be a good introduction maybe yeah okay, i, I, I did not cool like episode. shin godzilla as much as you did but you're also like a way bigger godzilla fan well <laughs> 
Yeah, but I mean, you still thought it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but it was kind of weird. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's what I think was interesting about it. It was so, it was so weird, and I thought it was just like really. Uh, it was like kind of, kind of. A, it was the first scary one in a long time. <laughs> I don't quite have this boss like his patterns really figured out all that well. I feel like I I got him the closest the first time. I don't know why. Uh, there was five dollars from uh, Robert Hernandez. Thank you. Saying, uh, thanks to your Shredder's Revenge stream, my five-year-old and I have been playing uh, TMNT to death. Can't wait to show him the original. Great work. Um, are you sure it was us? It wasn't like... <laughs> everyone? Other... Yeah, everyone doing videos and stuff on it. But thank you. Like, it's it's good. You know, I've, I've not played it with my kids. Uh, I, you know, I played a little bit of the story in it. But I just got another stuff. I, I don't know if it matters, but he like he like automatically walks back and forth on the continue screen, and every time like I'd make sure I press start when he's near the left one, <laughs> <laughs> even though it's already highlighted. I'm just like mm, I should be careful. <laughs> uh, there's also a uh, four ninety nine from Franklin. Bl Thank Frank you, Franklin Brown. Thank you. He's saying, anybody else think it's weird that in Kirby Star Allies, the characters are constantly mouth kissing to share health. They uh, changed it uh, to high five in uh, uh, Oh Forgotten. So for G O N T N. I mean, I they they first did that in uh, Kirby Superstar, so I, I or, or Super. Yeah, so oh, I kind of got over the the weirdness of it a long time ago, I guess. I thought they, I thought they were just like, I thought, I always just thought they were like hugging. Uh I mean that's I, that's a that's an interpretation, I guess. I, I never considered yeah, that. I mean, I I mean it makes it like a hard. sound effect, like a. <laughs> Oh, I, I see. I don't know. I just thought it was like. I just thought it was hugs. I mean, mouth hug. I guess. I mean, I guess it's never been like canonically established. <laughs> yeah. It, it is up to interpretation, I suppose. I mean, there there are people have, people have said they're like they're like chewing up and spitting out the food in each other's mouth. So. <laughs> it's also like a also a possibility. Do you realize that like it's like a small like several people on that in the Kirby and the uh, Forgotten Land team like their entire job was just to like model different food. I mean, Kirby. it looks good. Yeah, and there's just like so many different things. And like and like you get like trophies of like everything that exists in the, in the game. <laughs> yeah, like after finishing, I was like, oh wait, there's a whole like fourth. Instead of, uh, you know, things you got to find. Yeah, um, I, I did everything in the game. I, I 100 percented it. <laughs> it felt good. Uh, uh, Gara Schneider was asking if either of you seen the new Beavis and Butthead movie. And uh, no, I'm I really, really want to see. You're it. a big fan. I mean, I it's I, I wouldn't be as excited as you for sure right right i mean i i was like the age to be watching it when it came out and uh i thought that like the was it like was it like in 2010 when they did like a whole nother season i thought that was really good too uh, but this this the new movie looks good you know i'm i i have faith in 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 mike judge like for anything he wants to do. Is this game expensive? It was like, it was like twenty some dollars. I don't know. Nineteen seventy five is saying, "Dang, this game is very expensive." Really? Like maybe I got a good deal. It was. Uh, it was. It was like twenty five dollars. I, 
I want to see Beavis up ahead, but I'm not going to like pay for a Paramount Plus to, to do it. Hopefully it gets... I mean, I, 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 I've, I've definitely like subscribed for like one month to like stuff like Peacock or whatever if they had something I wanted to see, you know? Yeah. I don't have a problem doing that for just one thing because I mean, like that's less than you're going to pay to go to the movie anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, yeah. Not that I exactly. think you can go yeah. to the movie for that, but I'm just saying as an example. Yeah. You know, and you know what I do a lot of times is, you know, with Amazon, I'll always like select the, uh, choose this option to get $1 free digital credit. You know, if you don't want to receive, if, if it's okay, if you don't receive it until like the end of the week or something like that, like choose this to choose your Amazon Prime Day delivery for Friday. So I'll do that. And, um, you know, like today there was like, uh, I had like $6 accumulated and I was able to get the Sonic 2 movie for $6 because I or $7 because it was on sale for $12.99. So, I mean, my son had been asking to watch that like many, many times again. Um, there was, uh, uh, 10, I'm assuming Riel's from Rafa Nets. Saying, uh, Boa Noite. Big fan from Brazil here. I probably Thank you. said Boa, Boa, Boa Noite. I'll assume that's good night, but the Boa makes me think it could be bad. Maybe maybe it's bad, bad, bad evening. <laughs> oh, good evening. <laughs> Asking, do you plan to make a video on the Wonder Boy collection? It seems that it is. only has four rounds, but there's one uh, version from Strictly Limited with 21 different I know, rounds. it's so oh. weird. So I okay, I can I can here's what I can tell you like what I've played of the uh, of the one that is available right now. Okay, so we were we were given codes for it. You know, like we just like showed up in our Twitter DMs. There was like no reason for like us to like let's say oh we do a video on this. Um, so. It uses the same emulator that the, uh, like, a lot of Strictly Limited or ININ's stuff has been using, which I think is, is very I, good. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that, that, that like, uh, that, it's it's very utilitarian, but it's got all the good features. Yeah, and it's, it has, like, interpolation. Scaling options, has, yep. Yeah, and it has re re really good CRT and scanline filters. Yeah, I, with, like, I, lots I, of options. I do, like, I do approve. It's good. Uh, but like, I don't understand like why it's not a consistent set of features, like all the way across all of these, um, specifically this one, it has like a forced border. I don't know why oh. you can't turn the border off. And there's like, there's some weirdness about it with the, um, so what I think is going to happen is I think that, it's not going to be all 21 of the different games that are included in the strictly limited limited version, but I think that there is going to be a patch for it that will add more games to it. Oh, you think? I don't know. I mean, I, well, it, I mean, it does they, kind of like, annoy yeah, me because, like, I, I like I, I, you know, like it's it's stupid. Like, I shouldn't get suckered into this kind of thing, but it's like I do want to own physical copies of these games, and I don't want to buy like the Super Nintendo version, like, for example, like, so, like, the, I have the Turrican flashback, and that's got, like, most of what I would need, right? But then, yeah. like, then they made those two other volumes, and they've, like, got a different set of games between them, and I had to get both volumes well, to get all of the games that weren't in Turrican flashback, even though it was, like, one game per collection that wasn't in Turrican flashback. So it's, like... Well, that's, that's, you know, that's like that—that that kind of stuff is what is where people get the idea that like all of these like limited print run companies are are are, are shady and bad, and it's like it's not true. Like, not that many do stuff like that. Strictly limited does do stuff like that, and and I hate it, but like I I, I, I buy it anyway because it's like well, I, I like I. I do want those. <laughs> like it's well, the, stupid, the but stuff should not have been split across two things. Though. No. 
and I mean that's like that's like a whole other thing that I think that has been uh, you know talked about from like lately. But I think that the uh, like I don't I think that there will will be some games patched into the physical version that's out now. I don't think it'll be everything, but like I asked about it and they they said, you know, like they they responded to me and said there could be some of the stuff could be patched in. I mean, I think it would be a be a mistake not to do it, at least mm. some of it. And cuz there's like definitely some hints that th this some of the stuff should be there. Like for instance, like on the game select screen. Uh you know, you choose Wonder like Wonder Boy and Monster, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster Land, the second game. And on the, the menu select, it shows the Master System versions, title screen. But when you choose the game, it like launches right into the arcade game. It has a totally different title screen. Which hmm. makes it almost feel like it was there or, you know, like it's, it's being, it's planned to be there at some point. But that and the um, and the forced border like made me feel like oh like like I don't like why would they remove the option to have like turn off the border like it's in like all their other releases like why would they not why would they actively remove that feature and like why can't all these just like be the exact same you know yeah Does that makes sense. Of course. <laughs> I mean, we've we talked about this a bunch, like where you said, where you had a kind of a idea of like, maybe we should like make something saying like, here's like what we think should, all of these retro releases should do. Yeah. Like, like scaling, like how it should be done. There needs to be a set of standards. Yeah. Like maybe we could, you, you said like make a, like a set of standards that mm -hmm. we can like, say like everyone should strive to do this i mean i don't think that like anybody would like listen to us but you never know yeah. you some never people know. a few people might it might make a difference in a handful of games yeah okay, I, th I think i'm starting to understand a little bit better th th this guy is like a huge difficulty spike for sure but i i do hope that some of those games are uh you know that it's um patched in because i think that the game selects like it's just like really weird and it's not i don't think that anybody beyond like the really hardcore fans are going to be like have a lot of interest especially when uh you know like asha and monster world has wonder boy 4 or monster world 4 already in it and like in a lot of ways like that, even though the game wasn't like amazing, I feel like that's kind of a better deal. Mm. Oh, that hurts. So I, I don't know. I hope that some of that stuff is, is patched in. Oh, are you using your supers here? Well, I, I f figured out a little better timing to do that and also a little better timing on things in general here. I, th I think I've got them figured out pretty decently at this point. This is taking a little bit longer than you're expecting, probably. Yeah. I mean, not I mean th th this, this fall boss is a big difficulty spike for sure. Yeah. Keys to victory. No supers when he's in the train doors. No jumping when he's out of reach and will zip towards you. And early jumps when he's at the doors. Yeah, when he's in the doors, you can't really do anything. I, I've, I've figured out, though, like, a, I got a little better feel for, like, when he's going to, like, move closer to you, though. Uh, but in terms of making a video on the Wonder Boy thing, like like a major, huge Wonder Boy video is something like we've always 
kind of dreamed of yeah. doing. Oh, I think I got him. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, mode seven in the background. Like that is that technically mode seven is just like even like the blurring, right? No, mode seven is specifically I I believe the like full Using the effort. full background like tilt and rotation. Oh, okay. I mean I always thought that like like that though is kind of like it's like scaling the sprites though, isn't it? Like I think the modes or like the if I'm not mistaken, uh, it, Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think the different modes, and there is a mode zero, I'm pretty sure. The different modes um, just define, like, I think, like, how many layers of parallax there can be and what, how those layers can be manipulated and possibly also how many colors can be used in certain circumstances. Mm. And, like, that is just another mode, another background mode where it just says, like, hey... The background can do all this stuff now. Right. I mean, I would just imagine that. I just assume that that was like scaling that it was just doing. But the different the different modes define what you can do with with backgrounds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like you might certain modes like might limit you a little more in one aspect or another, um, but you maybe you can have more background layers or something. I think. I do uh, not like that. Dad one one five three says, congrats. You nailed that sucker. <laughs> you hammered him. That face though. I, I, I don't like the face. I don't like the nose, especially. Yeah, the nose going through like the center of the where the the hands of the clock are mm -hmm. is like it, it it really makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I, I recognize the word Mirai in there, which means future. <laughs> Is there is there a uh, PlayStation One version of the game in the series? There's a PSP game which I didn't know about. Oh, it, that's right. It was actually localized by Atlas and it's called Hammer and Hero here. Right. Uh, is I want to say it might be the only home game that came out in the U.S. If I'm not mistaken. I think the arcade game came out in the home in the PSP game, and I think a few of several of them came out in Europe though. I think one or two, I think the NES one and one of the Game Boy ones. I'm going to fill up my water. I'll be right back. All right. Credits. But yeah, I did look up the, the hammer and hero for PSP and uh, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> Not sure about the Japanese version, but the U S version is expensive. I, I did not know about it. Did you have both Game Boy games, Mellow Gaming? Actually, I think there's also like a like a quiz game, maybe, for Game Boy? I forget. I think I'm hearing fireworks. Sandy, why don't you come say hello during the crest? Oh, you're right here. I, I, I did not know Sandy was right here. Come say hello. Come say hello. I did not know you were right here. You were right here. You was you taking a nap? Or is Sandy taking a nap? The hmm? <laughs> chainsaw lady. <laughs> 
pretty extensive credits, although they might be possibly saying the names of the enemies, I'm not sure. You're just gonna lay over there? Feeling a little camera shy? Well, look at that barcode, that's weird. 1993, 9 I wonder what the meaning of that is. Oh, what was that I beat recently? Uh, oh, it was um, Mega Turrican. Uh, I beat it on the, the stream, the backloggery stream on Monday. And it like actually had like the Factor 5 uh, P.O. Box. Or I think it was the P.O. Box. I think that's what it was. It, it actually had like some sort of like contact thing in the credits, which I thought was funny. I'm pretty sure it was the P.O. Box. Somewhere in Germany. Which is pretty funny. You know, I, I gotta say... Uh, Drum and I, we, we played the game simultaneously on the stream. Uh, we both uh, felt like the Amiga games were better than Mega Turrican, which is not what we were expecting to feel at all. Uh, it was, uh, I don't know, it just kind of felt a lot rougher around the edges and uh, the, the Amiga games were kind of rough at first, but then we like kind of like really like got into them. Like we, we both like re like really turned around on both of them by the end. It was like, oh, like this was this was quite good. <laughs> um, but Mega Drive One, I don't know. Like I, I've I've gotten the impression it's kind of considered the fan favorite, the fan favorite, or at least the best of the console ones. Uh, but I, I mean, it was good, but I still think the Amiga ones were better, which I, yeah, like I say, I would not have expected, uh, to feel that way. There was, uh, $2 from, uh, from Ben Brody. Ah, ben been D. a little bit there. He has been. Saying, what's your favorite third game? Minus Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I mean, that's... So what is your favorite third entry in a series? I that's... Guess? I mean, that's... I mean, that that that's pretty hard to top. Although, there's also... Z Z Zelda. Zelda 3. Yeah. Of the path. yeah. That's, those are both real hard to top. I, I, I guess it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be your favorite in the series, but your favorite third game. SSX three is one of my is one of my favorites. Ah, uh, uh, gosh, yeah, there's some. Time Crisis three, one is a good, really good third game. Yeah, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater three is my favorite Tony Hawk game. Metal Gear Solid three. Uh, Fall Fancy, if you go by uh, American number, original American numbering. How about Monster or Wonder Boy five Monster World three? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, Super Metro. There's a lot of good threes out there. I mean, you've yeah. often said that you feel that twos are often the best because they like perfect what they want to do in, in, in this, what they wanted to do in the first game. They perfect with the second game. And then the third game, they like kind of do something weird or they ran out of ideas, but I don't yeah. know. There's a lot of good threes. It's a lot of good threes. <laughs> Bubsy 3D. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, Metal Gear Solid 3 is. Yeah. Really I mean, I don't know if I could pick a. Th I mean, I guess just. Five. Halo 3 is probably the best Halo game. I mean, if I, if I was being lazy, I guess I'd just say that. I guess I just like tie Mario three and link to the past for my favorite threes. Yeah. Final Fantasy three. If you want to go by American numbering. I mean, I, you know, I don't know if it's so hard to pick a favorite of those. 
So there was uh, seven dollars. That'd be kind of interesting though to like mm -hmm. make a list of like third games where like either they were good or if they regressed. Yeah, you know? yeah, that 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 would be an interesting like. That's a, that's a fun that's a fun idea for a video. Like, did this? Well, is the third game past the series peak or is it the series peak? Or yeah. or a you know regression. Or, or yeah, is it a regression or or an advancement or or the yeah. weird one? Uh, yeah, I don't. It's, it's hard to think of how you would. Ah, uh, like title thing. Yeah. Like I, like I see someone bring up Shinobi Three. I mean, you're you're a, you're a. I mean, you like Shinobi Three, but you're a you're a revenge of Shinobi man till the day you die. Yeah, and you know, like it's such a weird thing because I feel like those are two different series. Like, like Shinobi is, uh, it's like, like the first Shinobi and like Shadow Dancer. And then you have like the Super Shinobi series, which is like Revenge of Shinobi, mm. Shinobi Three, and so and I guess uh, Shinobi oh, Legions. Uh, there was uh, seven dollars yeah, from Mega here, X6. Here's what I have: real copy. I mean, I I don't is it was like twenty three or twenty five bucks. Like I should open it up, make sure it's not fake. No, I'm pretty sure it's real. Um, but Mega X Six had seven dollars. Thank you. Saying, uh, yeah, I don't know if you if you ca got to catch some of the GDQ's marathon speed runs this past week. My favorite was Thunder in Paradise. I actually, didn't know GDQ was going on. I I, I have not really Summer games paid much games. attention to it in years. I hate to say. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch any of it, unfortunately. We're, 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 we're going bordered today. Yeah, that's okay. Why not? Uh, there's also you know $2, what I could do, though? two I more could dollars do. from uh, Ben Brody. I to blow it up a little bit for me. Just a little bit. My second game, my best second game is either Uncharted 2, Uncharted 2 or Half-Life 2. And... I mean, Uncharted 2 is, like, yeah. far and away the best game in that series, and, like, you know, the other ones have been, like, decent, but nothing really comes close to, like, the first time I played through Uncharted, that was, like, one where I managed to get it, like, a few days before what, it came out. What, was that play. was that what you were playing when you were, when after you had your, your, your cyst surgery? Or was that some? What, uh, were you, what, what was your I, I, What was your cyst game? Uh, my cyst game was was Earthbound. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that feels appropriate. Yeah, well, I mean, like on pain meds and stuff. Well, like, like I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking of the the uh, the this game stinks ad. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like my favorite thing about it, like I hadn't had never played it at that point like like significantly like to the point where i was going to play all the way through it mm -hmm. but I, I just was like blown away at how much of like the game it feels just like you know it's just kind of uh like they're just like like on drugs which like being japan you know for sure they were not <laughs> right and that's what i think is is interesting about it you know i said there's there's one, I I think that when I was playing it, I think on my old personal Twitter account like years and years ago, I like tweeted a little bit about it. And there's this one part where you I think you're like on a train or something like that, and it stops and you wander around the desert for a little bit, and there's like a, a, a like a shack that just says, has a sign on top of it that says drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. It feels like. You know, this says everything you need to know about this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bobby. The, the, the... No, but like, I, like Uncharted Two, it came out. And I was able to get it from like a place in my neighborhood, right? I think I got, had a chance to get a couple of games early from them, and R Resident Evil Six was one of them. And Uncharted Two, I got it like it was like four or five days before it like 
officially released. So I, I finished it before most people had it. And because of that, like, I had no idea what to expect. And it was, uh, it was amazing. Like, I just, I, I love the game. And there's, like, so much stuff that happens in it that you didn't even know was going to happen. Like, the, like, that one, that one scene where you're going through, like, the entire village as, like, the tank is going through it. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know, it's just, it's so good. And I really want to revisit it. I played through it several times. Yeah, I you know I I feel like you, uh, you, you're 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 a little down on Uncharted Four, but I think it's mostly because you just don't remember much about it. Yeah, like, yeah I, I, I liked Uncharted Four a lot more than you did. I think I like I, I think it's the clear second best in the series. Mm hmm. I well, I, I that's probably very true. Um, you know, I was thinking about this a lot last night because. Uh, while I was waiting for my kids to go to sleep, I like booted up uh, Lunar Two Eternal Blue complete on on the Mister, mm -hmm. and it just like those like, guys are I so easy with the I had my save files ball, like on there, but so and it just got me hammer. thinking about how you know sometimes I just think back to like games that I, like I know that I love, mm -hmm. and about how even no matter how much I like it, like, do I even remember that much about it outside of the parts that I like really remember? Yeah. There's probably a lot that I bet you, for I mean, we've been saying we, we should like, I should play through the, the, um, the, this, the PlayStation version. You should play through the Saturn version, record them and we should do a lunar video. I mean, you know? Yeah. But I, I mean, why we think, haven't, I, but we haven't that's true for like stuff with you at all or is it just like something that oh yeah i mean just like, you know like, you, like even games that you like love like so much and you would like rank them as like one of your favorite games of all like time. how much do you actually remember about what happens over the course Be of outside of the parts that you like really remember very clearly i mean some things have definitely like like something like Ocarina of Time. I remember like that very vividly. Like if I were to replay it today, I would probably like forget a few of the like I, I'd be like I'd probably get a little stuck a few times. Like what 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 do you do on this puzzle? Whoa, I'm in a yeah. plane. I mean, just, like, story um, but but like but yeah, I mean Ocarina of Time. Sure, like you know something that surprised me about. I mean, you know, since I don't replay the line scrolling in this stage, looks really good. Um, mm -hmm. Um, you know, since I that's don't that, replay dope. games as much as I used to, um, right. I, you know, I feel like a lot of like new RPGs and stuff. Like I, I forget what happens. Even how, if you like it. I, yeah. Like, like, like I forget what happens, but something, you know, like with Final Fantasy 13, what really surprised me was I forgot a lot of the story, but I remembered almost all of the locations. And the story is not very good. It's not right. very good. It's not terribly worth remembering. That, <laughs> honestly. Um, is that what? Oh, do I just fly over it? Um, but like where they went, like all, like almost all of the locations are like really awesome and memorable. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, like, there's very, like, thinking even on Final Fantasy 13, like, I remember that one, there's, like, a town, or, like, like the first town you go through. Is the, that, like... The one town that you actually, like, get to talk to people? Yeah. It's and a then, flashback, that, like, though. Before you go to the, uh, there, well, there's one where you kind of, like, you're outside of the town. Isn't that, like, when, when, uh, when Snow saves you? Does he show up like on his oh like, oh uh uh pa Pollen Pollen Hope Hope's Town that's it and th that's like right after you go through that forest yes right yeah yeah See, I remember that stuff and I remember that like that scene where Snow shows up that that's like I feel in that game that is like the Final Fantasy moment mm. that like gets you like way like really hyped up. Oh, that was but, silk like, I think the outside of that stuff, like I don't really remember much at all. And I like, 
then I'm thinking, like, I was, like, when I was playing Lunar 2, you know, I loaded up some of these old save games, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I had forgotten that this thing, that this part even happens. Right. And uh, I'm like, oh, man, like, I wonder, like, how much of this game I've forgotten. Like, there's certain things I remember. Like, I remember, I like, how much I love the ending for it, like, the, the true ending. Like, I love that, and uh, there's certain parts, you know, like, when, when Lucia, like, gets her change of clothes and stuff like that that are... Hey, don't spoil you know, it. Every... I've still not played it. <laughs> right. But, I mean, it's just, like, a small little part. But, like, there's certain parts that I remember, but there's all... I just, like, started thinking, of, like, I wonder how much I've forgotten. Well, the, uh, then you should replay it. Like, I, I, I like, know. Well, that's why, like, that's what makes me want to... I just, I just kind of want to do that now. Yeah, well, I mean, like... Like I, like I was, I was kind of saying, like I, like replaying Final Fantasy Thirteen made me think, like you know, like I always say that I want to replay games I like more often. Like I should commit to like replaying an RPG once, at least once a year. Like yeah. an RPG that I have already beaten, but I want to play again. Like I. Like maybe, and maybe it's one that I've already played more than once, but I just, I want to play it again. Yeah, like I, I think that's great. I, 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 I like kind of feel like I'm going to make that a point, like replay at least one RPG a year. I think it's a good idea. And I, I should really do the same thing. I see Chris V is saying, you know, uh, when I was younger, I, I played games like Final Fantasy V and Grandia uh, four times over. Now mm -hmm. I play RPG once and I forget what happened a year later. Yup, Exactly. Because there's too many games. Yeah, and you know it's <laughs> like we're we're getting older. Like we we should we should we should have these replay experiences that we want to have. Like we should because we we, we, we keep saying like we want to do it and we never do it. And well, we should just make it happen. Yeah. I mean, I want I want to replay Lunar Two now, but I kind of want to replay both of them. But you also want to play through Breath of Fire 3. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I feel, I, I used to think that Breath of Fire 3 was pretty well regarded, but then I keep hearing like people don't like that one as much. But I, I remember a friend renting it back in the day and I thought it seemed pretty good. Yeah, well, I, every, every I time I like boot it up and play like the first little bit, I'm like, oh, it seems like something I could kind of get into. And I've just yeah. never committed to it. I, I like, I, I love the look of it. Like, I like how the character. Yeah, I mean, four, four it's, is the one that looks super like crazy beautiful. But I, right, I, I like the right, look but, of three too. Like, there's just something comfy about it. I don't, I don't know what it is. I do like the look of three. I mean, I've, yeah. I've still never finished any Breath of Fire game. I got I got pretty far into one, but I was just like so bored by it. But even though it's it's been like probably three years since I was what? How do I? Oh, Cheese Cheesemeister says we've probably already played many of our favorite games for the last time. That's that's so depressing. The master safer says, "Don't let your dreams be dreams." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I've, I've definitely thought of that kind of stuff. Like, like, like what, what if like you like thought about like, like, like here's a, here, well, like what, if, what if like not only going to like never replay, but like never even going to boot it up again. Like how depressing would that be to know if you like found out like, Oh, like I will literally never boot this game again before I die. Like, wouldn't that be like kind of scary to know? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Like, like what? Like, what if? Like, what if you found out that you will like never boot up Space Harrier again? Like, would you feel like you're probably gonna die in the next year if if someone said? <laughs> probably you will, feel like you will never boot up Space Harrier again in your you, life. Like, try to boot it because, like, if I tried to boot it, I mean, I automatically if I know <laughs> that I will never boot it up again, would I? And I try to, does that mean I automatically like die in that instant? <laughs> <laughs> I I mean as long as I don't boot up Space Harrier I I will never live. You will never you will never not or, I, I will never I will never die, sorry. I'll never <laughs> die. 
like your your PVM will blow up or something. Yeah. I have I. Heard... <laughs> It's, it's such a stupid thing. I was like all excited when I told you about it, about how I, so my, my PDM uh, 20 L5 has been on this table, like right in front of me. And it's just like, I had like four little tiny, small feet on it. And it was just like, kind of, you know, facing straight ahead. And like, when I was like, would use it, it's like kind of hard to like, it was always like annoying to kind of like look down at it. And then I just like out of nowhere, I was like, I got, got this idea to get some feet for it and like just put like taller feet in the front <laughs> now it's like kind of angled up towards my face mm -hmm. and it's like why didn't i do this five years ago <laughs> um oh, that almost gets it on its head retro oddity says breath of fire one is just not great you know like i have a soft spot for for breath of fire yeah. one but i can't people not liking it but it was I liked it because it, it came out at a time when there were so few RPGs coming out in the U.S. that any time I had a chance to that I got one, like I played it, like I played through Breath of Fire one like at least three times. And you know what? I think back on it, and I can remember a handful of things about it. I can recall the music more so than just about like most stuff. You know, the first one just has such good music in it. And I, th I think that that's one of the reasons that I didn't care for. Originally, I didn't really care for the uh, the third one because it kind of has this jazzy soundtrack to it. And uh, I don't know. I really love that the soundtrack Jeez. in that first one. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but... was five dollars from rears to blood oh, they're really you. good idea saying i've been doing i've been playing every jrpg i never beat or not in years in order of release starting with fantasy star 2 and seventh saga up to oh. breath of fire 2 now in order of release that's that's kind of fun Finally getting in a groove with this thing. I'm not sure how though. Mm -hmm. oh, he takes a lot of hits um, though. You know, I tried. I I only rented Breath of Fire. Oh. Like, you know, when when it came out, I, I never bought it, and then I bought the Game Boy Advance version, and that's where I was just like, I can't deal with this thing, this translation. This it's. Oh, does, does the Game Boy Advance use the same translation as Super Nintendo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think I knew that. Oh, man. <laughs> um. Oh, cool. It's the continue starts me right at the boss. That's surprising. That makes me feel a lot better. Although it could be, it could be a curse later. Oh, it could be a curse late in the game where like, you like actually kind of really want to power up before the, like the last boss or something. Yeah. Uh, Alex Gavin is asking, what's the best way to play Final Fantasy six today? Um, I'm guessing the, the pixel remasters. I, I, I assume that it's, it's very good. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't like, I, I mean, I would always save the the Super Nintendo version. I mean, it's just yeah, so hard I mean, for me like, not to say that. But, you know, I think a lot of people like the GBA version, I think. I mean, obviously, the Super Nintendo version, I, I would think, is going to have the best music. Although, I've heard people say the Pixel Remaster music is is good in all the games. Um, I mean, I've definitely <laughs> seen some, like, things that's like, oh, I don't, I don't like how that looks in the Pixel Remaster as much as... Uh, you know, on the I Super Nintendo version, but really like the, the thing that gets me about the pixel remasters, every time I see screenshots from them, like, I feel like the battle fields look really empty. Mm. Like I, I, like, 
like the, the battles were designed for four three, you know. Yeah. And they just look, it just looks so empty. Like the, it makes the enemies just look so small and far away from the party. But people generally seem to like those. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe that they have not gotten... Uh, I mean, if they come to Switch and there's, you know, like a physical version, I mean, I will 100% get them, but I'm not that interested until then. Right. Same here. <laughs> there was a dollar ninety nine from uh, Madonna Sheehy. Thank you. I, thank you. Saying, if Sandy was in a game, which would she be in? Ooh. Uh... You know, on the on the backloggery streams, uh, I, I, I'm not very proud of it, but I, 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 I had this idea for a long time that like, oh, I want to, I want to make a Sandy emoticon for the backloggery streams, <laughs> that is, uh, is like a, a sprite edit of Interceptor from Final Fantasy VI. Oh yeah, it like turned it into a Sheltie, and it isn't that what, like Renoa's dog is though in Final Fantasy. That's 8? Angelo. I, I'm sorry. I, I I mean, isn't that Renoa's dog? No, Interceptor is Shadow's dog. Oh, I, oh, I know. Oh, I, I know. But I, I, I'm saying, like, I know. Angelo I, looks I nothing saying. like Interceptor. Right. Well, I, I thought that, like, in my mind, Angelo looks more like Sandy. Oh, well, sure. But, I mean, I was trying to what edit us. I was trying to think of, like, what's a sprite I could edit I see. to make I see. a yeah. emoticon. But right. I mean, Angelo, I think looks kind of weird. Like there's kind of like a fantasy dog sort of look to it where it's like, it, it, like, I don't know. There's like weird proportions or something that's like, this is a fantasy world dog. It's not a real world dog. You know, if, 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 uh, if Nelly was going to be in the game, she would have been the, uh, like, I would like to have a, uh, picture of her, like, just, just like sitting there, like in a, in Ace Combat Seven, there's a cutscene with like a, with like the with a character, and she has a dog, and like literally, like the dog is just like a still photograph. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that but, would be really funny. I mean, Sandy, Sandy would probably have a really good time in like Animal Crossing or something. Just like yeah, real, real, like nothing, nothing real intense going on. Just you know, just. She'd be really into, like, the fact that you, you get to check the mail every day. She she loves it when I check the mail. <laughs> I'm actually surprised she didn't freak Was out it, with didn't... me saying that right now, because I always say, you know, I'm going to go check the mail. She's just <laughs> laying down with her eyes mostly closed right now. Wow, th this, this, this game has... Uh... <laughs> I mean, this is really tough for a... Level, can't you just level jump two up boss, onto that? Huh? I, I'm just wondering if you can, like, jump over him somehow. What do you mean? Well, when he, like, goes back and forth? I mean, there's a platform in yeah. the middle, but, like... So, like, early on, I, I, like, tried to see if, like... Oh, like, you're really safe on this middle platform, but, like, the bombs are... Like, the timing of it is super unlikely to actually... Mm -hmm. actually hit him because like it'll get on top of him, but then it'll like be drifted off by the, the platform. So. You know, it's funny is, is we, we say the way that, uh, when Nelly like lays down, she just like, kind of like, I was blah. Mm -hmm. Like like splutes, I guess. Like sticks her legs out in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just kind of like collapses. Like she does it all the time. And it's really funny. And we, we say that like when she, when she does this, she's like, oh, she plopped. <laughs> you know? So like I, so, I <laughs> started thinking about uh, Fortune Street. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, you know, property? Yeah, like oh, this is this right here. This is her property. <laughs> and today I said, you know, she's 
She's she's partying like a plop star. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of getting away from me now. But I like it's it's nice to I I should look up some more uh, uh, Dragon Quest uh, slime <laughs> hunt to use anytime they use plop. So can you like coax them into like only going left and right at a certain height? Uh, I mean, he he just goes at that. I mean, that I, I don't think that's necessarily the part that's getting me so bad. I mean, it's just a culmination of everything. It's 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 largely the fact. That, I mean, it goes over after he takes damage. Is when he changes sides, and there's not there's not a lot I can do about the timing of it. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough. And he seems to take quite a few hits, so... Like, but a bomb, like, has to, like, get on him. And just, like, the timing of it is, is really hard to have any control over. Is this the first boss? This is the... Well, I, I guess it's kind of the third boss, but it's the second level. <laughs> it's, I'm surprised how tough it is. I looked up the the length of some long plays of this of these two games, and the first one was like, or the Super Nintendo one was like, um, forty five minutes. And this one was like 30 minutes. So this one should in theory be the smaller game, but I'm, I'm having a lot more struggles early on here. This is like, what if this is the, the final boss? <laughs> yeah, it was the game is two levels. I mean, the, that, that flying level appeared to technically still be part of level, uh, level, uh, one. Uh, Donko Town says, I'm not sure if this is a, a Japanese archetype, but uh, Kirby's hammer costume in Forgotten Land, or like essentially all Kirby games, yeah, looks yeah. like the hammer and hero reference. I think it's just like that big mallet. Well, I, I think it's also like the bandana, like the, the braided bandana. I, I think it is a Japanese archetype. I was actually trying to look up information about that earlier today because i was like I, I i see that like braided bandana and like a lot of things mm -hmm. and like i actually really had a hard time looking up much information about because like I, I came across the word hachimachi which is just like japanese style bandana but like it looked like there's like it looked like some some images i saw showed like the braided type of bandana but others um, we're, we're just more of like a, a flat, like karate bandana type thing. People who make mochi, like the braided bandana. Maybe that's it. I don't, I don't know. But the, yeah, it's, it's definitely like a Japanese archetype of some kind. But yeah, yeah, it, that... Ever ever since Hammer Kirby has had a hat, it's that's that's what it's been is that braided bandana, right? Um, so I didn't do like those extra levels and stuff. I did the first of those extra levels that shows up after you beat the game in Forgotten Land. Oh yeah 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 yeah. They're, they're, I mean they're kind of like remixes of earlier ones. Yeah, it's just like they're. You know, they're kind of long. Yeah, they are. Um, is is it, like, worth doing it? Is there, like, a true ending you get after that? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, you fight... It's more like you fight a true final boss. Huh. But, like, I mean, I... I think you basically got the gist of the the story and stuff yeah. just from being it regularly. I mean, without spoiling anything, I mean, you know, the the one of the forms of the foul boss like definitely uh, you know, follows the Kirby tradition of, you know, 
horrifying, <laughs> horrifying final bosses. <laughs> you mean that you are you talking about the like the right the first final boss or the, the first the first? Well, I mean, I guess the, the first or second, depending on how you how you're counting. Mm -hmm. The. The, I mean, the, the final thing that you... I mean, they, they've always been really good about, like, kind of using the gimmick mechanic in, like, a really epic way at the... Uh, oh, you, you, I thought if, that was the last hit right there. Huh? You think? I, I feel like I've hit him more times. I don't know. I th This is really hard. Like, hopefully this is, like, the hardest part of the game. <laughs> Look up if this game is, is on uh, GameFAQs, because I'm pretty sure this one came out in Europe, so maybe there's some possibility. Like, maybe there's just, like, some, like, really easy trick that I'm just, like, not understanding here. This is really hard. Ah, uh, let's see. It's... I, I, I think it would be called... I mean, it's, it's literally called... Ghost Building Company, you know, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Dai, Dai, Dai Ku Ginsan Ghost well, Building Company. I look at the, company. it was released in 92. Uh, I think so. If, if it says the, Ghost the Euro, Building. The European box art for it is, is horrible. Yes. Is, does it have the, does it have the. It kind of looks like, um, what does he look like? He looks like the guy from. Who's the guy in Police Academy? They always like they had the guns all the time. Oh, his had the big revolver. He was like obsessed with guns. Kind of looks like him. But is there a game fact? Um, there's three of them. No, what? What? Really? Yeah, that's that's really shocking, actually. Let's see here. No, um, I can't think of who the. I can't think what his name was. Let's see, okay. <laughs> Tori Hanzo, look at us boomers using game facts. Like it, it, it was not that long ago of a revelation yeah. that like game facts might not be that popular anymore. And I get worried because, like, what what if I need information about new games? Are people not real? I mean, it seems like people are still making them, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't know where else to go for help if it's not game facts. <laughs> so, okay, this says... Uh... The loader is being driven by the demolitionist, which is not such a big shock when you consider the fact that it will go, it will drop three pieces of TNT every time it stops moving. To defuse this highly explosive situation, wait for the loader to stop moving, which signals it will begin to drop its ordnance. Move Harry in so he will be standing just off to the side, uh, partially underneath the loader. This will are, allow are we Harry talking to about the up. right thing? I don't know if this is a loader. Um, I don't like partially underneath. Like, I, I, I said I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, I think you're looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, but what if I want written content, Vanessa? <laughs> I, I like, I like. Reading. I mean, sometimes I do look up like, okay, you're having a lot of trouble with the boss. Like, you look it up online. But I don't know. I look at like in here. It's like, like you. you I mean, you you could look up a video and tell me if it looks like they're doing anything different from what I'm doing because I am. So just... there's a WiiWare version. No, that's just called Happy Hammer, and it's not the same thing. <laughs> Happy Hammer. <laughs> Oh, the Nintendo Power Hotline. 
Uh, they're not gonna like. They're not gonna support this game in America, though. I I, I called the Nintendo Power Hotline a few times back in my day. Yeah, this is this is one tough second boss. <laughs> I mean, I think it might technically be the third boss, but it's the second level. He's basically doing the same thing as you are. Yeah, I mean, it's just... But he's... It looks like he can... You can duck under almost any time. Like, it's look like the... Uh... Even when he's really low? Um... Yeah, he's like ducking under him even when he's... All the way down. But see, it's not just him going back and forth. It's just that the, you know, just stray explosions from the bombs just eventually get you, you know? Um, well, the thing is, in this video, he has, like, the really big fallen spiked ball. Which I don't really see how that would help in this fight unless it, like, actually hurts him. Well, he's like, he, he basically stays underneath the platform and just jumps up and down or he just swings he doesn't even jump oh he jumps every once in a while i feel like i'm doing pretty good shouldn't have said that shouldn't have said that <laughs> the disappointing part is you're only seven minutes into the game and it's 24 minutes long according to this Video. Oh, man, I was doing really good. He takes a lot of hits. When you get that, when he's like shooting so many out, like that's the last time you got to hit him. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even realize he was shooting unusually more. Oh, two more hits when he goes faster, I guess. Oh, that's right. You said that you think you can duck. Well, I mean, he does in the video. I mean, there, there's one point where I, I think he could be too... Possibly, ugh, possibly too low for any, but... How many levels does the game appear to have? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm just kind of going through the. Um, according to this. Like, I don't think that it's... This is not the correct walkthrough for the game. Oh, you think you were reading, reading a strategy for a different game? No, I think that I, I was right, reading it for the right one, but I'm not sure if it says there's five levels. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's a lot. Oh, I think that might have been when you said that he was about dead. <laughs> there is a $5 Canadian from the importer who says the irony is that the cart that Try was Try has was probably once beaten by a 12 year old Japanese kid in under 30 minutes. Probably. I love these names for like characters, like enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, like Nail, Nail and Ned. Is, is these, these are the English versions? 
Yeah, Cement Sam. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, going back to uh, Yakuza like a dragon mm -hmm. really makes me, makes me appreciate the uh, the enemy names in there. Oh, yeah. Because it's just like they they like they have such funny names. Uh, like they, they try to make like certain terms like sound like like really epic or scary. Uh huh. And uh, I can't like there's one that would like have me dying today um like what they call the garbage man garbage men <laughs> it's like uh <laughs> two dollars from joe sean that's not a boss. That's Satan's counterattack. <laughs> you're not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's no boss. Um. Oh, man, I got really, really close. I'm pretty sure one time, and now like every run since is nowhere near as good. I need to find this name because I forgot what it was now, and it's uh, gonna drive me crazy. It's just, it was just like a really funny name. What they call it, like the garbage men. Sujimun uh, list here. It's not pseudo trash. It was like, uh, crazy it was like it such a elaborate name for, for uh for a garbage man oh, <laughs> that's right per perjure of filth <laughs> <laughs> Was he a palette swap of an earlier garbage van? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they're all the same. They just have, like... Oh, I forgot I was so close stuff. again. Dang it. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a perjure of filth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's definitely some funny names in there, though. Uh That's another one I was laughing about, but there's. They definitely had some fun with it. Like the st a stern stranger. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. A, a rumored hitman. I mean, it makes me think of the, the, the kind of silly names are in, like, Earthbound or something, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. 
I don't know. Is that a real one, uh, Michael? Uh, Michael Stashew, the 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 refuse relinquisher. Oh, did I get him? I think I got him. Oh my gosh! Whew! Did I beat the game? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> refuse remo remover. I don't know. It's not as good as the uh, Purger of Filth. Oh, I'm I'm flying. I'm just yeah. I'm not even out playing it anymore. Like Astro Boyan. Seems like I can't blow up the bombs. Oh, let's take a couple of hits. <laughs> You hear the uh, fireworks out there? I do think I heard something a little like... something. Just shooting missiles out of his hands. Yeah, you know. As you they do. Should be, they should be hammers, honestly. <laughs> uh, shouldn't they? I mean, you're not wrong. There's no real rhyme or reason for it. Just like, it's, 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 let's just have him flying. <laughs> I mean, he, know, he shot out of a cannon. He, he shot out of a cannon. Really? They showed him shooting out of a cannon. Oh, okay. Like I'm not hearing any like obvious like hurdy sounds. So uh, did you see that 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 new um, Cuphead DLC came out? And you, I know you're planning on streaming on the backloggery. Like is that? Well, I mean, is, isn't the isn't the I, I, they said that that they were going? I think they said they're going to make announcements about the physical in like two or three months. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So I'll I'll probably wait till then. Yeah. Is there? I wonder uh, what the uh, response has been like. I mean, it's been so long coming. I feel like it's like I don't know, but like my assumption has been it's probably like almost as much content as like the main game. Mm hmm. Has anybody in the chat played it? Oh, is this is this going to be a, a Sky Armada fight? Oh, look <laughs> at this. Well, wow, that's a good start. It's like Kid Dracula here. <laughs> I hear fireworks here too. Oh, it's it's, it's seven ninety nine. So, I guess I guess the game is fifteen dollars though, as it is. But still, is I it on have... is it on Game Pass? Oh, I I don't know. I don't know. You know, like the whole. Have you like really done anything with the, uh, like the PlayStation versions of that? Like the different. Do I have it? I don't like, think I have. I the... mean, like, I like I thought, like, oh well, maybe I should just like sign up because it'd be like thirty dollars to get like the, uh, like the second tier. Oh, you you got? Oh, I don't have that. No, I know I didn't. I didn't. But I was like, I wonder like if it'd be worth it. No. I mean, it's like thirty dollars for the for a year. I mean, I guess there are quite a few games on there, but I I don't I don't know to what extent. Yeah, it's just, it's weird the way it's set up, the way that... And then, like, you have to pay for the top tier to get access to the retro stuff, but it, like, doesn't even seem very... <laughs> like, like well, you pay more for... Like, it's it's just not even that interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I will say that I think it's really oh, cool that okay. the, uh, the stuff, like, at least the Sony published stuff that you had bought on PS1... Like, we'll carry over. Like it, Resident Evil 1 doesn't, though. 
But but you can't even buy Resident Evil One period on there. You can only play it if you have like the the service or premium. Well, can you can you can you buy Wild Arms? Yes. Okay. Uh, but like it seems like all the third party stuff like you can't. Uh, they have the option of letting you buy it or not. I mean, unsurprisingly, like, I was I was unimpressed with a little bit of Wild Arms I tried. Yeah, but like it's still cool to be able to. It is like, cool I, that they give you cool access to it, but I'm <laughs> I, I I can't say I am terribly enticed. But you'll I mean, I will download all of the uh, the stuff that I have. It's available for me to buy. Or not to buy, but I mean to uh, download. Sure, download. That I've already bought. Yeah, I I don't know if there's going to be that many though. Honestly, I, it's going to be all the Sony. I think it's up to the publishers. Yeah, but I just I don't know if there's going to be that many for me. Yeah, I, it's it's impossible to say. But I wonder if you know, like I, it would be nice if they allowed it for like everything that they released that you have or they've already bought just to like if they let you have that but i don't know like i it gave me hot shots golf and i, I never bought that really <laughs> yeah i never bought it i i should see if i have access to that that oops, yeah that seems really weird uh siphon filter it let me download too and i don't recall buying that but i may have gotten it for like if it was on sale for real cheap or something like that it's funny that your life bar is indicated by hammers oh why not why not indeed I like those clouds. They look like uh, they look like long johns, like long john donuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't really know what that is, but I don't know, like long john. I don't, like I don't know. That's just what I guess they're called. Like they're just like the long donuts that are like filled with cream. I I'm apparently just, they're called long johns. I don't know. Like that's just I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, until, I'm like, still not sure I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look like Cheetos over here, yeah. Oh, you can knock that back. That's that's Oh, you can destroy them. I I would not have expected that. <laughs> okay. That that makes that makes a difference. Maybe. You can kill him. It might make a difference. Maybe Long John's are the favorite <laughs> pastry of Cincinnatus. Is that true? What? I don't know. I, I like. I didn't. I only know like the term long johns because like uh I think my wife had called them that before. What? And my daughter called them that. Cuz yesterday she got a donut and she's like I got a long john. Well, there you go. It's <laughs> it's the truth. Long 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 john donuts is a great character name. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great character name. <laughs> I I'm into it. Like a main character is like, is is it? Yeah, you know, he's like that's his actual full name, Long John Donuts. I, I, I feel like <laughs> that, that that sounds like a character would be in like Earthbound or something. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's like one of the bosses is Long John Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just the idea of, of someone's last name being Donuts, also. <laughs> Long John Donuts and 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 Inspector Waffles team up to solve all the <laughs> yeah. crime. <laughs> That was a pretty good game. I liked it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is it funny? It was pretty funny. Is is it as funny as the name would make you think that it would be? Um. I I I don't know, but it was it was good. I liked it. The the backloggery mm. liked me streaming it. They liked the voices that I attempted to do for all the characters. <laughs> oh, they put me back here. Oh, man. Oh, long jump. Oh, man. Inspector Waffles. I mean... It was like you finished it in one night, right? Uh, it was. I got close, but it it did take another stream. It was like a point in or the click. start of another point stream type. Uh, yeah. Did it have a real compelling story? Uh, I mean, we had to stop. Uh, we had to stop a cat who we thought was in prison, but actually wasn't in prison. To stop them from using a a laser pointer to uh, <laughs> a giant laser to uh, to like destroy the city or or drive the populace mad, I guess. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there, like like it was this secret like tech that had been developed by this like furniture company to like to like speed up like the like like it was meant to scan barcodes but then they figured out it could be used for nefarious purposes <laughs> they're like no whatever you do keep your eyes closed <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Renzo, Renzo Cuffsy. Uh, I, we have no idea if the the LG C two problems have been solved because try returned his. No, and I he probably I, I, I doubt anyone is ever going to own right. one that is as crazy crazy as I am to check that stuff. <laughs> it, it's it's been really cool, like you know, seeing the comments on that because there's. It had an impact on a, a significant impact on many people's buying decisions. Yeah. And a lot of people said, you know, like it was really cool seeing a, a video like this or a TV review like this, because it focused on things that I care about. People want me to keep doing it, but no, thanks. You're like, no. <laughs> um, but then there was also like on the, on the flip side, there was a, I thought it was kind of a, a funny, <laughs> a funny, uh, uh, comment saying um i cannot wait for your conclusion on next year's 8k tv's testing pong and nhl 1994 with us yeah. prepare your feelings to be herded <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're like oh look at this boomer gamer yeah his, his feelings gonna get so hurt over these over these new tvs not playing the games he likes yeah i just like the idea of, like the two games that you're gonna try on it are pong and nhl 1994 <laughs> <laughs> yeah like like maybe maybe this is like a young guy who like do, like is not into gaming and like all he really knows is like nhl and pong <laughs> like in terms of things that like people might play <laughs> i mean nhl 94 is a good game to test on it really <laughs> NHL 94 is an amazing game. <laughs> For your feelings to be hurted. <laughs> I don't know if you saw like that dumb comment that I that there was on the on the Mr. video. I was talking about it yesterday, 
I actually like ended up hiding it because it's just like I just it just like made me real annoyed. I don't think I've seen whatever you're talking about. Well, it was it was just like such a dumb comment, and I it's it had been there for a long time. It just like ca got caught in the uh, uh, in the filter. Oh, or it's like. Uh, on the uh, the Mister video, it says it's so sad to me because nerds are so shiftless, lazy, and marshmallow-like that these projects can take a lifetime. The few putts you can get to do any actual work on it will stop once sweat starts to form, since they're doing it for free. Uh, well, have you looked at how far we've come? Yeah. <laughs> and he says, you know. Uh, this thing should be have been robust and completed by now. Oh, because of the adult children slacker coder base. I'm 40 and I'll be lucky if this thing is affordable and consolized by the time I die. OK, so you're saying. I I, I don't even <laughs> I did, like so many things wrong with there's it. There's so many like there are so many things wrong with it. <laughs> like clearly not paying attention at all to like what's going on. And but it's like okay, so if they should be done with it, well, like why don't I, you pitch it? That, that does work. You work on. Yeah, it exactly. Like, well, I mean, it's the same, same thing with anyone who complains about this stuff. It's like okay, well, yeah, get back to me when you're making, you know, videos like this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's there's, there's plenty of other issues <laughs> alluded to, I think, in in that comment. But it's uh, it's just like this. Oh, come on! Thing yeah. to get worked up about, and it's just like I just like. <laughs> well, there is no rope there in that middle box. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't know. Like, I thought maybe I'd land on the box in the middle. I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but I mean. I don't know. I just like I can't imagine getting so worked up and and angry about I can't imagine like getting worked up and angry about like so much stuff related to games. Yeah. Like there's a whole thing happening this past week about like some like leak leaker like said, oh, there's like there's God of War Ragnarok news coming this week. Oh yeah, and I it, it, I heard about it. Happened, and like like people were like angry, and like were like harassing the developers over it. Yes, in the worst and way po like, ways possible. I, like like I, I don't understand how you have like like literally nothing else to think about. Well, did, did you see the thing about uh, Monkey Island, the new Monkey Island game? Yeah, like how they didn't. We're like, we're they like, like people were out. people were complaining about it, and Ron Gilbert was basically just like, "Well, I'm not going to share anything about the game anymore because you've taken my joy of sharing away." Yeah, like I just I I, I don't even want to share anymore. The game looks fine. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. I mean, and like, just you know what? Let him make the game he wants to make. Yeah. Isn't it like so cool that the original creator is still doing it after all this time? Like, come on. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I, I just cannot get like, like I cannot understand the mindset of being so worked up that you didn't get a release date for God of War Ragnarok. I know. Like, it's like, it's like, what am I going to do with my time until God of War Ragnarok comes out? I just have no clue. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Do you know what you're going to do until God of War Ragnarok comes out? Like, I don't. Like, what am I, what am I going to do with myself until then? I don't know. <laughs> play hammer and harry probably yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna sit there in like a state of like unmoving paralysis mr dot says my life and what am i gonna do <laughs> what am i gonna do with oh all this man time? should i should i should, should i give up on this game today 
for today. Are you feeling like it? I mean, like how how much further am I am I likely to get before it's like one a.m. Well, yeah, this this yeah. is this is this is a lot tougher than I was expecting. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it being tough. I just uh, I was I was not expecting it to be so tough. People are annoyed because of the November release date. Like, but... Wh why? Lots of games come out in November. You know what, though? It's like... Let them finish the game. Let them finish the game? Do you when, want when to be unfinished? Done, gonna, then, you know, then it, it come up and it'll have problems. It's like, okay, like, well, why does it have all these, like, certain issues? But why are why people, why like, are people annoyed about November release date? Because I didn't think they had even announced when the release no, date. They, they haven't. They just said, like, oh, it's coming out this year sometime. Oh, okay. Who, who, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It, it makes me think about how, you know, my daughter, like, heard something that was coming, was something was coming out during the summer. Like, some podcast that she listens to, right? They have, like, oh, dude, we have new episodes coming this summer. Mm-hmm. And like literally, like June twenty first, she's like, "Where is it? <laughs> Where are they?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's summer. <coughs> like, why isn't it here? You know, it's like, were these people like, "Oh, God of War is coming out in twenty twenty two"? It's like New Year's Day. It's like, wh where is it? <laughs> like, why? Why isn't it out here? Are like yet? It's ridiculous. Like people. People don't like like your 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 daughter is young. It's understandable, but like, you know, people people sometimes just don't understand like the reality of how many things are in the way of making the things that you are putting on the internet for free. Yeah, and just and just and just just let them make the game. There was, I think that I saw a response to it where there was like a clip from like a Devolver Digital uh, press conference like a few years back where it talks about how like it's not about like the game at all. It's just about like the, the like every single like single screenshot that comes out in the hype all leading up to it. And then the people that are like, uh, the most excited will like blast through the game in one sitting and then like complain about like, where's the next one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I, I think about that and I think like, like at what point does it end? And like, where does like, like what is, where do you go from there? Yeah, you know, like what what comes next? Well, it's, you know, it makes I, it, it I, also kind of makes me think a little bit about remember that one comment on a recent stream where you you said you you like I don't even remember you saying this, but you were just like you were just like man, like Resident Evil Two Remake is just like chock full of content. But there was this comment that was like actually Resident Evil Two is is pretty anemic in terms of content. I'm really surprised to hear you say that. I mean, you can do everything there is to do in the game in less than a hundred hours. <laughs> I like just hearing it out loud like that. <laughs> I mean, he was just, I mean, he wasn't like necessarily like criticizing you or being mean. He's just like, Oh, I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, he was just very earnest the about. I only have at least a hundred hours of. Content. He was just like, oh, like I'm. I'm just surprised to hear you say that because, like, you can do everything there is to do in less than a hundred hours. <laughs> I'm like, thank God. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like. And it's like uh, comes down to like it's it's different for everybody, but like the thought of like being bored is like something I can't even fathom anymore. I mean, I I I could definitely be bored. I mean, you don't feel like doing any of the things you're doing, but I don't think that necessarily has anything to do. Oh, look at this! 
Is that that face? Almost like that face, right? Oh my gosh, how do I... How do I... Get... Can I... I can't like jump on these things, can I? <laughs> Are these like hurting him when I hit them back or... I can't... I can't tell if they're hurting him... But you know, the last boss didn't have like, or the last flying boss didn't have obvious like I'm hurt sound effects. So maybe this Whis is... Whiskey Vengeance says, serious question, do people really have time to 100% all the major games that come out? I mean, you know, what, what the thing is when I was, when I was, you know, a kid, I 100% a lot of the games that I had, but like I wasn't buying like all the games, you know? Yeah. Can, can you, you really can like you look at this video? Again. Can you look up that video and see if like this is how you fight this boss? You just like hit these things back up and eventually he dies or something? Or am I supposed to be like trying to get up to him somehow? I, I can't see a way to do that. Uh, when he goes down on the sides. He doesn't he go on? down. He doesn't go down. He's just going back and forth. Oh, oh, no, you got to hit. You can hit the ground. Oh, <laughs> why do I want to do that? Well, you got to. Though the pieces will fly up and hit him. Oh, that this seems dangerous. OK. Yeah. I probably want to, like, strategically do this so that I have ground to stand on. Okay, they seem to home in on them. They seem, they seem to hit without fail. Wow. Okay, that was definitely more of a puzzle boss. Uh, that's five dollars from uh, Venezaria. <laughs> Venezaria saying, uh, "I don't care how, I want it now." <laughs> Which is what Ruka Salt says in Willy Wonka and is applicable, 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 applicable to various people all over the internet. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Sadly, yes. Man, like. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the amount. Wouldn't it, would of, it, would like, it be nice if it was just back to the days when people were writing nice letters into game magazines? Yeah, I mean, what happened to be like, being like, just like excited to like, just excited to be here, <laughs> you know, and getting to enjoy the things that you like. Oh, but I can't enjoy the things that I like because God of War Ragnarok is not out right now. Yeah. Then, you know, if you're waiting for that, just like, you know, see if you can find like a $20 game to tide you over. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's it's like stuff like that it just makes it just makes me feel like 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 at what point is there just like no more enjoyment for anybody like involved in any of this? Yeah, like 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 I feel like the people who are just like being so mean about it like can you describe to me like really look inside yourself and tell me like are you get, getting joy from the games that you're playing? Because I kind of feel like if you have that kind of attitude, you're not. So I feel like you might need to be solving another problem first. You know, and just imagine you can, if for $20, you could get uh, Resident Evil 2. I, I, I just bought I just bought the PS5 version of Plague Tale Innocence for twenty dollars. But you know oh, what? Right. I bet that game is pretty anemic in content because I looked it up <laughs> on how long to beat and it's like, I don't know, maybe ten or so hours. <laughs> Which sounds I, I see see me. I see that ten or so hours and I'm like, I'm definitely gonna play this game sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, it sounds and good. I like I can't tell you how many times I like say like, oh, this game sounds like fun to play. It's like 
30 hours, like, uh, maybe not. Yeah. Well, I, I was telling you how I like, I got from, um, premium edition games. I got some games that I thought looked pretty cool. I got, they was, was it cathedral? Yeah. They did the switch version of yeah, cathedral yeah, yeah. and also phenotopia, which I thought looked pretty neat. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh, you know, I should, I should start one of these soon. And then like, Phenotopia on how long to beat was like 30 hours and like cathedral, which is this like NES looking like platformer. And it was like 20, it was, it it was like 20 to almost 30 hours was like the range on how long to beat. And I'm just like, what non RPG for NES needs to be 20 hours. And, and, (laughs) and, for that matter, what RPG? <laughs> like, I don't yeah. know if there's that many RPGs on it. He has their 20 hours. Like, really? Do we do we need this? I see Combat Gamer says, most younger gamers these days get excited for YouTubers buying games instead of them buying yeah. games. Yeah! Or, or playing a game these days. And you know what? I totally see it, like, with my, with my kids. Like, they'd much rather just watch... Uh, like someone else play it. And a lot of times that's just because like even easy games are like you know scary and are too hard. Well this 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 game is definitely a little scary. And too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the spooky vibe of it. <clears throat> BBA 935 says, says, nobody is nice anymore. In 2017, I went home to my parents' house and went... Uh, on a treasure dig of old retro gaming stuff. I posted my findings on Reddit and someone hated on me for this, saying uh, they're hating on me because some of the things were rare and expensive. The comment was like, must be nice to be rich. <laughs> it's like, I got it back in, in the day. You know, and that's, it's, that's true for a lot of, like, most of the stuff that we have. I don't know. Like I like I just think about stuff like that and I don't even know. Like like I I don't think that it, it it's can or ever will improve. Like I, I mean there, is, there, there I, needs I to be there, there needs to be like a a mass movement that actually takes hold where people just like seriously dial back like how much of the internet they actually use. Yeah. You know, like they're like, like people, people need to like understand that, Like, you know, we, you just don't have to be involved with as much as you are. I think that's, I think that's the only way for things to, things to improve, you know? Yeah. I wish this game had a password system. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite tough. Not not unbeatable though, certainly. No. But it's it is it is surprisingly difficult. But yeah, I like I just I don't think that it can possibly improve. Like I don't think that there's gonna be a situation where It's like gonna be better. I mean, I I, I think it can I think it can improve, but you know, social media needs to like basically die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was like, I was uh, talking to uh, Joe from GameSack recently. We were looking for some like information on like some older games, like release dates, mm-hmm. release dates specifically. And one thing I think is fun is to kind of go on like Google groups and they have all of like the Usenet stuff archived. Mm. So it's like all this like 
BBS stuff from, you know, like the early 90s and so on. And uh, it is, it's really cool. Like, it just seems like everyone's just kind of like having a lot more fun. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, they Except were. About, like single games, you know, coming out. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it, it can get is going to get better. And the only way that it can. I mean, you, you can make it better for yourself, though, right? Just stay, stay away. Oh, 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 exactly. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Yes. Which. But like, I, I feel bad for these developers that like have to deal with this crap yeah. all the time is and it's just like. Everything that they the you know, like their their job, like if anything, you know, they just get hounded all the time, like release it now, release it now. And then it comes out and it's broken. It's like, well, why isn't it not working? Fix it now. Fix it now. Yeah. And I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just really, really bleak in terms of enjoying stuff <laughs> <laughs> well I, I i don't think i'm gonna beat this in a reasonable time tonight if it's if it's five levels i'm on the fourth level and it, i mean it's, it's there's one more yeah there's one more this. it's it's tough so i i i'm gonna go grab another game that i got in my recent haul just just to do a, a game i've never booted all right look at the size of that hole Yeah, it's like, you know, when when I was a kid, games didn't have release dates. It, just, it came out, it, it was like the best day ever when a store would call and say, hey, we got this in. And you have a pre-order, you have your name on the wait, like the list for it. So I, I did not know, I didn't know this game existed. I just randomly saw it when I was putting together a, a an import cart. It's like, it's, it's got a war Ragnarok. <laughs> it's got a war Ragnarok. I've got it right here. I, I, I just, I, I found it for, for that. I found it for two bucks on, on, on a, on an, on an import gaming site. Here it is. <laughs> I give you <laughs> God of War Ragnarok. That is super cool. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to read though. <laughs> yeah, it was impossible to read. <laughs> but it does uh, look yeah, pretty like cool. Like a little bit. Uh, so I just I saw this and I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, so this is this is weird. Uh, this is a. Oh, okay, so I guess here's where you choose the rules. So this is a, a Kunio Kun puzzle game. And you can, like on the left here, you can choose to play by Puyo rules or Columns rules. Oh, interesting. And I guess is this choosing colors or food? Uh... I, I, I don't even know if there's any, like, story or anything to beat in this. I have no idea. Whoa! It's... <laughs> I seem to be on, on, on fast mode. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, is literally just Puyo Puyo. Or Columns, if you want to be Columns. It's, you know what though? It's real. It's it's really smooth looking. Like that, those falling blocks look like it like moves at a higher frame rate than you typically see. I mean, I, mean, I just 
Yeah, th there is like there's like an acceleration to it. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some some kerning going on there. Some, some easy easing. <laughs> some easy easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw this, I was like, oh, this is just a, a few bucks. And yeah. It's a Kunio Kun game that's also kind of a, uh, I guess, uh, I would assume, unlicensed uh, uh, Puyo clone and Columns clone. Yeah. So who knew? So I see Wh Whiskey Vengeance says, I can only imagine how scary it must be for someone who doesn't have a pretty decent online media who doesn't have pretty decent online media literacy skills. Like, this is totally separate from... But I the, think uh, it, it, it may, may, maybe that's what leads to all this. Poor online right. media literacy. People people don't know how to behave, and you get what the internet is. Yeah. Well, I had to have, like, a little bit of a chat with my kids. Uh, they, 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 they play some game on the iPad called like toka world or something like that and i don't know it's kind of like animal crossing but they came up and they said uh you know i went to this site because i was watching a youtube video where it shows how to get like all the dlc for free oh gosh so i had to like we had to have like a big chat you know because it's like it says they're on this one page and it says please visit this place this page on your mobile device and i was like well first off guys it may not seem like it but but that this that's stealing <laughs> so we had to like kind of get into into that into like the whole stealing aspect and i like <laughs> You know, it's, I'm sure it's not true for this, but I'm like, you know, the fact that it's saying come, come to the site on your phone, like makes me nervous. And I, I, I had to explain that the reason I am able to like see some of this stuff, a lot of it's because like I grew up specifically at a time that I. Uh, you had to be so cautious. Well. Well, you kind of you kind of saw it have like stuff you had to be cautious about. Like you really saw it like become scary. Yeah, it developed in uh, real time before our eyes. Yeah, you know, like I always say, and I I've said it a lot on on these streams and stuff. I feel very very fortunate that I grew up like I lived a portion of my life without any kind of like internet. Yes, yes, absolutely. And then I had a portion of it with it, and by the time. It was still, you know, like fairly new to like, I guess, just to like normal people. Mm -hmm. Like it just, uh, um, you know, like I got to experience it, like as it, like figure it out as it, uh, you know, like as it was expanding. I guess. Whoa. And I, I can keep an eye on it. You know? So it's just like, there's a lot of... <sighs> we just, like, I, I said, you know, like, I'm, this is, we're not doing this. You know, like, it's not even, like... So do they not have the capability to just, like, go to a website? Like, is that, that's why they had to well, ask they, you? They, they do, but I think that it's, it's saying, come here, like, on a phone. And I'm like, well, like, I don't even know what that could oh, be. Oh, I, oh, okay. I mean, it sounds to me like, you know, like maybe it's doing something where it is like, you know, it hijack your, your, uh, your phone, your, you know, your cell number or something like that. You know, like it's like, well, this YouTuber did it. And I'm like, well, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. So it's. 
I, was it you that said something recently or was it somebody else so they read it like a study about how uh like a lot of kids these days like don't understand like what to be scared about because a lot of it's already just like handled for them like well, I mean, I, I no, like, I, I don't know anything about that in particular, but I've always kind of suspected that, like, you know, younger generations are going to be less, you know, everyone's like, oh, man, these kids are all going to be so smart about them computers. And it's like, no, like, is it just b becomes like their normal everyday reality? Like, they're and most of the stuff, like they're like they're becoming way dumber them. about it. Yeah. Because all the scary stuff is like... I mean, I don't mean your kids in particular, but, you know, I'm just... No, yeah, it's it's very true, though. So... I don't know. It was just... it's. I, I joke a lot, a lot of times about, uh, you know, people like my parents' age about how when I was young, they were like, always like, you know, don't, don't trust everything you read online. You know, you never know who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah. I feel like in a lot of cases, these days, the people that used to say that, like literally trust anything that they read online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they just like, don't have any, like lost their capacity for critical thinking. In terms of like, what what am I reading? So it's just I don't know. Like it's it's such a weird thing. <laughs> I mean, like I don't know. Like I make it so that the kids can't play like anything like really online and like the one time I let them play something like oh I was just talking to this, this one person you know like he wants to like send me like messages or anything. He's, he's really nice though he's really <laughs> nice well, yeah <laughs> I mean that makes that makes all the difference right as long as they're just really nice Kirsch with like my, my favorite catchphrase these days. That's wow. how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I won that. <laughs> that was pretty intense. So it's going against Wait, another person. So I, I I I can't tell if there's really like a anything to beat in this or not. But like, so that's interesting. If they just let me choose like from match to match, like Puyo rules or Collins rules. Right, these these Kunio kids, they do like everything. <laughs> Is there anything that they can't do? I'll tell you one thing, and this is gonna sound like so basic and stupid, but like literally my favorite like outdoor activity these days is, is playing Frisbee. Oh. I, I love playing Frisbee and I can't get anybody to play Frisbee with me, like <laughs> willingly. And now I'm like thinking about trying to start a frisbee group here in <laughs> course, like we just go to the park and throw frisbees like there's like like there's like disc golf and stuff like that which is is fine but really all i want to do is just throw a frisbee back and forth with people I, I like disc golf is fine like this disc golf is like something that i would like to do more th disc golf seemed to really when that came around seemed to really increase interest and awareness and 
uh, in frisbee. In frisbee again, but I've, I've never, I've never played it. So ultimate, like I'm sure I could find somebody. It's like local. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that there is like a an ultimate frisbee group, but really, I just want to sit there and just want to throw it back and forth. <laughs> no, no, somebody. no like, rules, no talk. winning, no winning to it. Yeah, it's like you know, you still get a pretty good workout running around and stuff. Uh, but I was like, yeah, I wonder if like anybody else feels like the same way. I wonder if I can. No, I do want to run. I want to run the catch it. I I want to like. But I don't want to have the stress of like having a team relying on how good I throw it. <laughs> um, because honestly, like I had never been like that good at throwing frisbees, but like in the last like two years, like I figured it out. Oh yeah. Like I like I had been doing it all wrong for my entire life, and now I just found out that like if I just like if you uh, curl your fingers underneath it. Whoa, just, that like, looks bad for me. It's, it's like a game changer for me. That's like, that's all I want to do. Just want to play Frisbee. <laughs> Posting a local group. Turns out Frisbee is a code for something. <laughs> Uh, disc golf is a lot of fun, and I'm I'm going to get a basket or hoop or whatever you, you call it for my yard. <laughs> Brutes McGee says the key to frisbee is clenching your butt cheeks. <laughs> Just jump and boom, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you would you agree? Is is this the secret technique you've discovered? No, that's uh, this seems like something new though. I'm gonna have to try. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, I I shared this with you. Like I I've been like I've been laughing about this for like for a, a week straight. About how I logged into like my Alexa, and oh yeah, my son, like uh, I saw apparently his his attempt to buy some quote unquote DLC for an Alexa skill. A, a skill now, what does that mean? A skill is just like you know you can like add like a like a trivia like games or something like that to it. Like you know, if you want to like do something like. Uh, I don't know, like play Jeopardy or something like that. So <laughs> oh, at the very top of my Alexa app, it says, uh, you know, by saying yes, you authorize us to charge your default or, or other card on file for a dollar sixty plus tax for the the extreme farts extension pack. <laughs> 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 uh, have, have you by the, the the extreme farce extension pack extension for, for like for for 99 cents and a do, dollar do, do, do you, a dollar 60 after tax do you, do you think there is a less extreme farts pack or just just a, a regular farts pack that is less of an extension <laughs> i i think that there is a because uh, there there is a skill installed on here called big fart Okay. Oh, you you already have Big Fart. I I I you know I just like looked at it recently and saw like oh he has that and then he tried to buy some DLC. So so wait what what happens if you get, how do you activate the Big Fart? You just like say you know like Alexa like let's let's play Big Fart I guess I've never done it. Well do it do it right now to where we can hear it. Echo. Let's play Big Fart. <laughs> Did do it? I can't hear it. Yes, yes, it's happening. It's happen. It's happening. It's like perpetually happening. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Alexa, play a, a long fart. <laughs> it's like it's just like try asking me for a relaxed fart. A relaxed fart? You're like, here's a relaxed fart. <laughs> try asking me for a cheap wobbling fart. <laughs> a, a cheap wobbling fart? Yeah. No. <laughs> Did she just like try to upsell me to the extreme farts extension pack? Oh, so that's how your son found out about it. Hey, do you want the extreme farts extension pack? O Alexa was the one that offered it. <laughs> her voice when she's saying it is so funny. Just like her voice, she's like, I have a huge variety of animal farts. <laughs> Animal farts, you say? <laughs> Try asking me for a, a quick and a, a quick and splotchy animal fart. <laughs> quick and splotchy. <laughs> well, I, we 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 cannot hear it. Wait, hang on. But we we are living vicariously through you. Hang on. Random. Can you hear that at all? No. You, you, you need to get her connected to your Steam Deck. <laughs> that was a cow fart. A cow fart, okay. Random. So sounds educational. Cores get really into this. Random. That was a gassy one. Shall I try another fart sound? Yes. That was a silent one. Try asking me to play another fart. Hang on. And say random. Random. Try asking me to play Mr. Fart. Or say random. Random. That was a cheeky one. Try asking me. Can you hear that now? Fart. A little bit. Say random. Random. That was a quick one. Ask <laughs> me how to unlock more farts. Or just say random. Random. That was a short and gassy one. Try asking me for a squeaky balloon fart. Or stay random. Squeaky balloon fart. Here comes a squeaky balloon fart. <laughs> Try asking me for an angry fart. Or stay random. Ang an angry fart. Here comes an angry fart. <laughs> Try asking me for a quick fart. Or stay random. Random. Uh, ask her, ask her how she, how you can extend your fleet. Seventeen times Get more in a fun. row, or say random. Seventeen times in a row. Time for me to fart seventeen times. <laughs> Try saying, "Play Mr. Farts," or say random. Random. <laughs> that was a trumpet one. Try asking me for a cow fart. Or just say random. Cow fart. <laughs> Kala does killer farts. Like this. <laughs> Try asking me to fart 34 times in a row. <laughs> or say random. 34 times in a row. <laughs> that was a guilty one. Try asking me for a wet fart. Or say random. Fart 34 times in a row. Time for me to fart 34 times.
<laughs> Try asking you for a squeaky balloon fart, or say random. Random. <laughs> Co Corey's pretty hooked on this. Like, I, there's farts. so many farts here. Like, just who even needs these? What type the... of farts does your friend's name do? Or just say random. <laughs> random. <laughs> that was a small one. Try asking me for an engine rumbler fart. Or say random. It sounds like you're like you're, you're 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 inching oh, closer okay. to buying the DLC yourself. <laughs> Seventy Seven wants the extension pack now. <laughs> I need I need to read this. Uh, this twenty dollars from Skelvin. Wow. I'm so sorry. Like I was like, mm -hmm. thank you so much. <laughs> sorry about this. I was I couldn't help it. Asking a uh, Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross, and I would say that Chrono Chrono Trigger one hundred percent of it every day of the week. Oh yeah, easily. I, I like Chrono Cross though. I, I I think it, you know, it's weird. Like people like, like I always got the impression that it wasn't terribly well liked outside of its soundtrack. But like when it came around, people were like, "Oh, the classic game Chrono Cross." And a lot, of, you know, I've started to realize like most people playing video games or uh, covering video games are younger than me at this point, which is kind of weird to think about. And like, I, I, you know, I wonder if a lot of them just like weren't there when it was like so controversial. Yeah. But I, I like it. I always have liked it. Soundtrack, I mean, contender for the best soundtrack of all time. That, that has never been controversial. Uh, but definitely <laughs> Chrono Trigger. I mean, Chrono Trigger is just, I mean, it was the game that made me fall in love with RPGs. Yeah. And the only other game that's better is uh, Big Fart. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's also $5 from John the Don. Thank you. Saying uh, what needs to be done regarding social media discussion is more paid based subscription fee services need to be put in place to deter people. I mean, that's that's part of what like Discord, like like Discord is like a Patreon uh, perk. Like that's one reason Discord generally works pretty well i think yeah yeah i mean i know there's definitely people are saying like oh why would you put that behind a paywall but i mean it's just because it just makes like a tighter community i guess yeah. too yeah you know, like people are like like are great in our discord i love it yeah you don't you don't want to get too out of control yeah you know you don't want to look like you know, the the Twitch chat on, on you know, a fake E3 conference or a real yeah. E3 conference or a Nintendo Direct. Like, who has who can keep up with that? You know, there, there's no meaningful discussion to be had there because it's just too much. Right. And I think that if it was, like, open, I think that, like, I would be, like, less inclined to even, like, less inclined to be in there. Yeah. I mean, basically, be, all of yeah. my internet presence anymore is just streams youtube videos and discord that's about yeah. it and i i see hattori hanzo says you do get sort of an echo chamber at that point and i, I can see that too but i mean i feel like nothing is getting discussed in there is like earth shattering no you know? i mean like it's not going to be like, oh, you're not seeing all the different sides to this. It's just kind of like, you know, we're just all hanging out, talking about stuff that we are, uh, that we like. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I mean, you want to do one more last round of uh, Big Fart before we call it a night? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Echo? Let's play Big Fart. Welcome to Big Fart. Would you like me to fart? Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. No. Echo had a whoopsie there. Yes. 
that was a silent one. Try asking me for a relaxed fart. Or say random. Relaxed fart. Here comes a relaxed fart. Try asking me for a bath fart. Or say random. A bath fart. Here comes a bath fart. <laughs> Try asking me for a very uncomfortable fart. Oh, or no. say random. Very uncomfortable fart. Here comes a very uncomfortable fart. <laughs> Try asking me for a wet and squeaky fart. Or just say random. Random. That was a springy one. Ask me how to unlock dream farts, or just say random. Random. That was an engine starting one. <laughs> Try asking me for a long and crispy fart. Oh no. Or say random. Long and crispy <laughs> fart. Here comes a long and crispy fart. Try asking me. I don't, me I don't I wouldn't crispy. describe that as crispy. Or say random. Random. That was a squeaky one. Try asking me for a difficult fart. Oh, no. Or say random. A diff difficult fart. Here comes a difficult <laughs> fart. <laughs> Try asking me. <laughs> but my favorite thing is she's like, here comes. <laughs> random. <laughs> That was a spicy one. Try asking me for a long and squeaky fart. Or say random. Fart 20 times. 20 farts coming your way. <laughs> like, why would anybody need DLC of this? Like, it seems like it's like em endless anyways. <laughs> I know. It's pretty funny, Sandy. It's, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Try asking me for an animal fart, or just say random. How many animal farts do you have? That was a trumpet one. Try asking me for a long and squeaky fart, or say random. A cow fart. That was a very uncomfortable <laughs> one. Would you like me to do a fart? Yes. <laughs> That was a difficult one. Would you like me to play another fart sound? Yes, please. <laughs> that was an engine starting. Uh, you one. know what? No, it's I not endless. It's, we're we're getting a lot of repetition here, so maybe maybe you do need the extension pack. I know. I there's no way I'm gonna spend a dollar sixty. <laughs> that was a very squelchy one. Oh. Would you like to hear another no. fart? Yes. Only the that highest. was a long and windy one. Try asking me for a cow fart, or just say random. Cow fart. Paul pushes painfully hard to produce the perfect fart, like this. <laughs> Try asking me for a springy fart, or say random. Random. That was a silent one. Try asking me for a squeaky fart, or say random. Stop, we're done. All righty. <laughs> she, she's like, oh, bad time. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was pretty funny, Sandy. Yeah, it was. I'll pretty, tell you, pretty funny. Only the highest quality live streams here. <laughs> we should have Dave on. I know. <laughs> it's like. You know, that's that that's like what Dave needs. I Dave probably has a DLC. <laughs> <laughs> There's five dollars from Dad One One Five Three saying, I'm almost fifty years years old. I shouldn't be rewarding such juvenile nonsense, but here, farting gods of pressure <laughs> gaming, take my effing money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we were able to 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 bring some joy to 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 us uh, old farts. <laughs> I hope everybody has a uh, a wonderful week ahead of, of them. Um, everybody is in the U.S. Hope you have a great holiday, and hopefully there's uh, uh, the uh, fireworks don't keep you up all night. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, Scepter Sever. Ask Dave uh, next stream if he's if he's got the Extreme Farts extension pack. Tell him what good times we had here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good night. All right. Everybody. Thanks to everybody who donated, and we'll uh, see you.